Hello everyone, welcome on back to the dojo! Pro, congrats on redeeming first, my guy! Welcome on in. You have some good news and bad news, uh-oh. Should I be worried? Bad news- let's go- let's do bad news first. Give me the bad news first. So welcome on in. Hello everyone, welcome on back to the dojo. We are back today with our Variety Wednesday stream, and we're playing more Legend of Zelda as you can see. And today, there's a lot to accomplish. But I think we might be able to do it if we hurry through some stuff. I would like to get to the Fire Temple today if possible. I don't know if it's going to be possible, we're going to try. Do, do these really not have anything in them? I guess I looted them all already. That stinks. Your bad news is that the ELA and the grade is tomorrow, your written test. Right, you're so close, dude. You're so close to being done with middle school. You've got to feel good about that, though. I know I know the EOGs can be tough, but you got to feel good almost being done with the year. So, I did a little exploration off stream between Monday and today, and as you can see, there are a lot of towers and shrines that are marked off for fast travel, but have not been completed. So, even though I have the tower for almost every portion of the map, there's still a large portion of the map that is not shown. So, we're going to go around at the start of today, and we're going to do all the shrines that I have, and all the towers that I have, just back to back, and then we're going to head to Goron City, and we'll start making our way to the Fire Temple. But to start... We're up here on the Naira Mountain. Let's get a look. Let's see what it all looks like. The good news is that you passed the science EOG. Nice. You got a four out of five. Nice job, dude. Nice job. Well done. It's got to feel good getting those done. I know science and math were not the ones you were worried about. Those are some of your, your better subjects. But still, it's got to feel good to know that they're done. This is such a crazy view from up here. I'm glad we got this mountain region, though. Oh god, the islands go even higher than I'm, I am right now. What is this? That goes so high up. It's probably going to be for another temple. Science was too easy? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. So if you only got four out of five, if you only missed one point's worth of score, how many questions did you get wrong for that? It doesn't seem like you got many wrong. Surface map updated. Sky map updated. Let's go. Yeah, the sky map here goes really, really high. We're going to save the sky for another stream because there, there's a lot of stuff in the sky that I just haven't even bothered to try exploring yet. What we are going to do here, though, is we're going to land on a shrine that is to my right. All right, it's over this way. Let's go to it. There were 65 questions and when by fast because it wasn't that hard. Yeah, I'm sure. When, it, when you know the material better, it's going to go faster. If you don't know the material, the material, you're going to be sitting there twiddling your thumb trying to come up with an answer. There's the shrine. There's the shrine. There's just, there's so much to explore. But like I said, we're not going to explore too much new today, other than once we get to the Goron region. But right now, all we're doing is we're getting these shrines. Puzzle, back-to-back -back puzzles. Just puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. I also may have uh, done a little bit more than just a little off-screen exploration. Just in the fact that I have a lot of upgrades now. If you notice, on my energy cell here, we now have almost four complete battery cells, which is awesome. And also in the top right, I have over 230,000 rupees. So I think we're good on rupees now. We can afford to buy things. All right, here we go. First shrine of the stream. I think I have like 16 or 17 shrines lined up, ready to go. So right after we finish this one, we're just going to warp from one to the other. You have eight energy cells. Oh my God. I'm working my way there. I'm working my way there, pro. It'll take a while. All right. We got jailbreak here. Oh, we're going up with it. All right. All right. I see what we're doing here. Well, all of these are movable, I would assume. Yep. So we can up warp using this. Whoops. Come here. Can I not control this from down here? I guess I can't control it from down here. Uh, okay. Uh, um, let's do this in a bit of a different order. Hang on. We're gonna do that. And that. And then we'll up warp. There we go. Easy. 80 shrines done. That is insane, pro. How many hours do you have on the game so far? One of my friends has 80 hours, and I think that's kind of absurd. For a game that's not even been out 20 week, uh, two weeks to have 80 hours, I think I have 20 or a little over 20 hours. Uh, what does this get me? I don't... 
Ah, uh, you know what? This shrine's actually a little tricky. This shrine's actually a little tricky. There's nowhere for me to upwarp now. What do I do here? You've 85 hours. Good God, man. That's so much. Some questions I didn't know because I missed a few days and that was like the second week of school. Oh my God, yeah. If it's like a huge cumulative test, I couldn't imagine having to know everything. Yeah, the only things I can move are these blocks. Can I? Oh, I can't use Ultra Hand in here. All right, I can't cheat. I don't think it'll let me open up these items either, will it? Yeah, okay, so I can't bring extra items into the shrine. We gotta solve it normally. But I will admit, I am a tad bit confused on how to do this one. Let's go back down and get a, another perspective on this. Let's get a further away view. There's nothing below me, right? I mean, I can obviously up warp underneath these blocks if I had to, but no, there's nothing below. I can't get up to this one. I don't think I can. Obviously, I can up warp onto this block here, but that doesn't really get me anything. Sorry, my eyes bothering me. One second. I have the best armor, in my opinion, for shits and giggles. I'm gonna find all the armor, don't you worry. We're gonna get it. Um. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. I can only move these side to side. Am I missing something here? Because I feel like I'm missing something. I don't see anything else I could feasibly, like, interact with up there. What the heck? I can't use Tulin in here either. What am I supposed to do? You're the Link's Awakening set? Nice, nice. I have seen some throwback armors. My friend told me I should go to the, what is it? The Forgotten Temple? The area where you got Link's tunic, his original green tunic from in Breath of the Wild. I need to go there for a quest. But we're not gonna do that today. We'll do that another day. So I can use this to get over there and then I can get on top of that. But then I, I don't know what to do from there. I genuinely don't know what to do. I might need a hint on this one. Give me a sec. Let me try some stuff. I mean, that's not... This, this doesn't get me anything. I can't climb this wall here. I know why he said that. I won't spoil it, though. Yes, please. Please, no spoilers. No spoilers. I don't understand what it wants me to do. Does it let me stick these? Well, I can attach them. That doesn't get me anything, though. Fortunately, I can't attach these. <laughs> um, all right, so let's go. Let's go through the pattern. I can do again. So I can do this. Am I just being stupid? I think I'm being stupid. Guys, I'm being stupid. We're warming up. It's the start of the stream. We're still warming up. I could just up warp on this. I don't know why I didn't think to do that. That was really, really dumb. It's all right. We're learning. We're learning. Here we go. We got another one here. Um, okay. So I see where we have to up warp, but there's nowhere for us to stand. Oh, and there's this. Okay. Hang on. Bonus chest. Bonus chest. Did I see your stream idea? I did see your stream idea. So actually one of my other friends texted me right as the announcement came out because I was not paying attention to the PlayStation day of play, whatever, state of play, whatever it is. I wasn't paying attention to it. Um, but I did see that we're getting FNAF Help Wanted 2, and it looks like we're also getting, or not, not that we're getting another one. It looks like it's just a VR sister location, kind of, which is very, very interesting. Can I just, uh, yeah, do this. Oh, can I not stick this here? I can't stick this here. This is a problem. Wait, no, it's not. Just do this. There we go. I won't weigh this down too much, will I? Jesus. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. All right, it was definitely a lot better with the second half of the puzzle. Oh, but what? Did I just soft lock myself? Wait, what? 
Oh, oh, hang on. I was like, how do they, how do they expect you to just come into a cage like this? God dang it. There we go. Almost perfect. Uh, sure. This will almost work. Wait, can I run up this? I can run up it. I cannot run up it. <laughs> it's too slanted. Um, all right, just uh, bring it towards me a little bit. That should work. There we go. Made it. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, Crumb to welcome on into the stream, buddy. What's up? You got an extra soccer practice today? All right, buddy. Well, I appreciate you stopping in, but you have a good time at soccer practice. There's shrine one of one for today, or one of, I guess, one of 17, one of 16. We got plenty more to do. Plenty more. How long do you think it'll take me to finish the shrines that I have laid out already? Before we actually get to the mountain. All right, next one, we're gonna go the Esho Shrine. I just think it would be funny. What, FNAF Help Wanted 2? I definitely want to play that. I, so the only FNAF game I've ever like truly owned and played was Security Breach. And as far as how scary slash difficult Security Breach was to past FNAF games, it really wasn't. And there's two things that I'm worried about. I'm worried about Ruin DLC for Security Breach being very, very scary, and Help Wanted 2 being too hard and too scary. Right, here we go, the Esho Shrine. But I'm, I'm definitely interested in looking towards playing that pro. I know we're getting, we're getting Ruin DLC in two months, coming out in July. We're getting the movie in October, and then we're getting Help Wanted 2 probably November or December, late 2023. Oh no, a combat training shrine, okay. Or this isn't a construct, this is just combat training. This is okay. We can do combat training. What do you want me to do? Oh, he's got ruby power. This shrine purifies ancient evil. We don't need to read this, because it says it the same in every shrine. You can reflect a projectile if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Turn and the enemies attack against him. All right, I didn't know I could do that. Looks like we have to perfectly block here. We literally do not have a choice. Let's do it. Oh, I have to hit A to parry. Oh, okay, so I can just block the whole time. I just have to hit A to parry it, that's all. Oh, I remember this from the last game. Okay, I do remember being able to parry. I forgot I had this ability. It's actually a good thing we came to the shrine. Is that, oh, I gotta do it more, okay. No, I did know in my playthrough of Breath of the Wild, which was years ago, I did know I could parry. I forgot in this game that I could parry. Forgot this was a thing. That was too early. I'm not facing the right guy, but this is okay. Let's just get him first. God damn it. All right, there we go, that worked. Is he dead? He's dead. Got him. He is also dead. Let's go. Give me that Topaz Broadsword. Wait, I want the Topaz Broadsword. Please don't take it from me. I was about to be very confused. No, no, no. It's, I just forgot the ability existed. That's all, pro. I did know it was a thing back in Breath of the Wild. Um, What's it? Topaz Broadsword. Oh, it's still worse than this. Guess maybe it's not worth taking. Another construct bow, I guess it's not worth it. The ruby rod, ruby rod's probably not gonna be worth it. I do have a magic staff, so I could just, I could fuse stuff with that, let's do that. I kind of like fire, so I wanna fuse a ruby with it. There we go, fire staff, yes! Oh, that's awesome, oh God, they bounce. <laughs> I love it, I love it. All right, let's get out of here. That's two shrines done. And we get another sword. A mighty Zoonite shield. Yes, please. Let's drop the level two shield we have. Good God. All right, I'm getting some pretty nice shields now. We're gonna go to the tower of this region next. 
because that's pretty close by. Do 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 do. Beetle is the goat. Beetle is very helpful, being able to purchase and sell whatever you want. Well, not purchase whatever you want, but he is helpful. I've purchased a ton of arrows from Beetle already. Basically, anything Beetle has that I want that's useful, I just purchase all of it. Alright, let's unlock the region. I only needed one more Sunset Firefly, and he had three of them. Nice, nice, pro. Can you dupe with, uh, with, with living beings? So you had, you're talking about the Sunset Firefly there. Can you dupe with bugs like that? I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if they'll just fly away or something. There's been a couple iterations already of duplication glitches in this. I think I learned two different versions, or three. I learned three different versions. You tried? Okay, yeah. It definitely works better with inanimate objects. Alrighty, another region on the map. Damn, we're really gonna have to go through those geoglyphs. They look so beautiful on the landscape and they're so easy to spot. I think we already have the one that's next to me. I also constructed a flying machine or two off stream, so we can really quickly just pull from those and spawn them in with auto build. There we go. The West Nakluda region and the Lanairu wetlands. And of course, you gotta update the sky map. Cool. Alrighty, where's our next shrine? I think I gotta turn around. I do. I see it. Street down below! How many side quests have you done, pro? I've been trying to rack up the side quests, just like accept them as I pass people who have them. Did I get this tier? I did get this tier. Um, but I haven't really like started any of them. Oh, a shooting star just fell right behind me. What the heck? I got it. I got the star fragment midair. Yo, that's so cool. I don't think I've ever done that before. That was really dope. Do I have that shrine marked? I do have that shrine marked. Here we go. Another shrine. What is this? Oh, uh, I don't think I was meant to be in here. <laughs> Whoops. Oh no, it's raining. Ah, oh, god damn it. All right, I guess we're just warping. That's lame. I'm right next to it and I'm warping to it. <laughs> you got one star fragment and then just duped it. I think that might be the second star fragment I picked up, but I've never picked one up just like as I'm falling right next to me. That's pretty cool. How many light roots have you gotten in the depths, bro? I think on the loading screen there, it showed me I had 14 of them. This is the Morok Shrine. Yeah, I'll show you my depths map in a second. Because I definitely did a little bit of exploring there. You could have used the spring. Oh, I don't know. How, I didn't know how to use the spring. Probably would have been smart. A bouncy device. You know what? This is going to teach us how to use the spring anyway. This is definitely going to teach us how to use the spring. Yep. Yeah, I've never used these. Do I just... No? Okay, jumping on it does not work. Do I have to hit it to activate it? No, I should probably not use the fire staff if I don't need it. I've got 18 light roots. Nice. So we're, we're pretty close on light roots. I have 14, I think it said. How do I use this? Oh, not like that. Down it, then do a jump attack. There we go. Yeah, I did not, I just, I tried doing that. You saw me try doing that just now, but then my attack went past it. Never knew you could do that. Yeah, I've never used the springs before. Thank you, pro. Appreciate that. What is this? Is this the end of the shrine or is this bonus? I see two springs there. I think we need that. Can I get over top? I can knock it over top. Okay, where are we heading then? 
Also, what's up with this? Why is there like an extra little pedestal here? I feel like there's a reason for that. Perfect. Let's go! That worked perfectly. Alright, that's kind of dope. Do these extend by themselves? They look like they do. I guess not. Fall in there. Oh, yes. How perfect is this? This shrine's actually kind of cool. Now, now that I know how the mechanic works, not that bad. Ah, that's what that other pedestal is for. It's just to hold the ball, I guess. So can I just... Can I, uh... Oops. Can I place you down here? Will that work? <laughs> it almost launched the spring itself. That's great. Oh, it's gonna land right in! Let's go! That worked perfectly. How do I... Wait, how do I get the spring to go back in? Sweet. Do I have to smack it again for the spring to recoil? Yeah. Alright, let's do it again. Whee! That's so cool. That is so cool. Uh, I don't know if I was supposed to do it in here. I think I need to get higher. I think I need multiple springs. Let's get the third spring out! Right, I don't, I don't have to do it out here. Oh no, I do have to do it out here. Wait. It definitely seemed like there was something up here, was there not? I can't even look up that high. Hang on, we're gonna try that once more. We're just gonna combine it with this other spring real quick. Oh yeah, that's dope. I did not know springs worked like that. <laughs> the spring flipped itself over. You stick right there. Let's try this again. What are the odds there's a hidden chest here? Okay, I think I think God I can climb it. Here we go. No way! Oh, I totally thought there was something in there. Dang it, that sucks. Alright. Fine. Just bring it out here. Yeah, I didn't know you could do that jump attack in place. Ah, there's a chest here. There's a hidden chest. Sneaky looks are worth it. Worth it. Let's do that once more. Finally unlocked all the fairies. Nice, pro. I think I found the side quest to start unlocking the fairies. And actually, that side quest might be near one of the shrines we're going to. We're not going to do it right now. We're just trying to bum rush through the shrine so we can get to the fire temple. But I do have that so it can be started. One more light blessing and we can get an upgrade. We're going to split it half and half on hearts and stamina. So I should be able to get... Uh, I, I should be able to get three more upgrades and a full stamina, full second stamina wheel. All right, next we are heading this way. It's so nice to be able to just fast travel between them all. I'm glad I was able to get the fast travel, but not complete the shrine off stream. Definitely makes things a little simpler. Speedy skydiving? I always speedy skydive. Alright, what is this one gonna be? What kind of puzzle do we have here? This is forward force. Alrighty. We gotta get- oh, we gotta get one of the big balls. We gotta get one of them big boys. Oh, and there's lava. Good, good. Um, I see a wheel over there. Oh, you know what? There's driving contraptions everywhere. Cool. We're just gonna get to drive around, it seems. 
Um, unfortunately, I don't think I can steer this. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to steer it. Yo, Revered, welcome on in, buddy. Hello, my friend wanted to play Wizard 101 with me, so I'll be doing that while modding. Also, did you see the PlayStation Showcase? No, I did not, but I did hear there was gameplay for Spider-Man 2 and an announcement about FNAF VR, not FNAF VR, uh, FNAF Help Wanted 2, which is basically VR 2. Very, very excited about that. Yeah, I can't curve this thing at all, so... Whoa, good thing I didn't get burned by the lava there. Gee, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Wait, can I just, uh... I can just take the whole thing. There we go. And it'll just keep driving up the hill. Perfect! Look at that! Actually, maybe you should stop. Maybe, maybe you should stop. Maybe you should stop. There we go. Um... What's the goal here? Can I just, like... Attach this? What the heck? Wait, wait, is it really that easy? Can I just do that? <laughs> I know it's gonna fall right back down, but still, I can do this. Actually, did it fall? It didn't fall! Amazing! I think the tire is keeping it held with friction, maybe? I don't even know. I don't know how that's working. No, it is, it is moving. I see it moving. All right, just give, just give. Sweet. What was I supposed to do when I got up here? Oh, I'm going this way. Okay, <laughs> I see where I'm going. Yes, FNAF help wanted too. There's also new accessories for the PS5 coming out. One of them is a handheld that allows you to play games as long as they're downloaded onto the console. What? They're making a extra accessory that's basically a Switch? For PlayStation games? Why? That's weird. I mean, I get why, but like, why now? <laughs> Yeah, that, that seems kind of odd. They already tried and failed with the PSP on that and the PS Vita. What is this path for? Is this just for me? This path is just for me, I think. Okay, so we gotta float the ball across. I don't know why there's so many different channels. Oh, look at that, there's a chest. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I'm excited about FNAF. I definitely want to play that when it comes out. A Zoanite, a strong Zoanite sword. Doesn't even have a blade. Um, I guess we can drop the Traveler's Claymore? We should probably, well, let's do this. Not that, um, this. There we go. Now it's like a sword sword, yeah? It's a Traveler's Claymore Sword. Perfect. <laughs> They're trying it again, Sony, and this time, this time its controllers have all the features of the DualSense wireless controller. So which, which is the DualSense wireless? Is that PS4 or is that PS5? I think DualSense is this one, right? I think that's this one. I would hope it has the current gen uh, abilities in the controller. There's just a lot of paths here. I don't, I don't think it matters which one you take. Yeah, DualSense is current PS5. That's what I thought. Let's go! This is not gonna work. Is it? Uh... Well, I know how I could cheese this, but I don't really want to cheese it. I don't think the wheels are gonna... They're not gonna move with this. Can I just push it? No, I cannot. This would be so amazing if I could push it. Alright, well, what I can do is this. Hello? Why can I not move you? There we go. That was weird. I'm gonna push this across. Oh, is there a backwards current? Oh, there's a current. Ah, ah, I see, I see. Okay, all right. That's why it was not moving, because there was a current. I see now. Well, we can just build a long bridge. That's easy. Right, that's easy enough. Boop. 
Let's keep her going. Yeah, I didn't realize the curtain in this room was just going backwards. That makes a lot more sense now. I'm gonna rotate you a little bit. Let's rotate you the other way. <laughs> there we go. Jesus, this thing is so long. Whoops. That wasn't supposed to happen. Party! Yo, Millers, welcome on in! How we doing today, Millers? Good to see you all. You just, like, chill there for a second. Oh, God. Oh, God, what did I do? Oh, no! What did I do? <laughs> Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. I can't even... I can't lift it. There we go. Just put you to the side. There's too much going on here. There's far too much going on here. So yeah, the new PS5 stuff and FNAF, Help Wanted 2, very much hype. Yeah, I'm very excited for those. I think the wheel got messed up on that. Did I lose a wheel? I did lose a wheel. Get rid of that. Put you back in the water like you belong. There we go. I didn't actually stick this one on like I was supposed to. So why don't we do that? Here we go, almost there. Almost. Didn't feel like taking that wheel. Millers, how are we doing? How's our Wednesday going? It's been a while. There we go. Almost. I could probably just make it without the last plank. There we go. Perfect. Perfect! No, don't roll in the water. God damn it. Yes, press the button. Let's go! We did it. Another shrine done. Some fun puzzles. Uh, really? Fall in the hole. There we go. That's four shrines done so far today. Kids are here supposed to be at steps, but they're off tomorrow. No school on uh, on Thursday? What's tomorrow? Or do they just have like a four day weekend for Memorial Day? That's right, this weekend is Memorial Day weekend. It's kind of kind of crazy, I always forget. Yep, four day weekend, good for them, good for them. It's always nice to get off school. Where are we going next? So I believe this stable was the one that had, oh no, it was this stable, it was that one. That's all right, we'll make our way there. Um, let's real quick take a detour left and grab this shrine. Because there was one shrine I saw in Hyrule Field. There's actually, there's two things I want to do in Hyrule Field. We're gonna grab this shrine and then we're gonna go back to Lookout Landing and complete a quest that I started there. I, literally all I have to do is talk to the NPC that gave me the quest. But that should trigger another quest to start, which I need. Robbie wants to hang with you. When can I drop him? Listen, dude, I work from home every day. Send him any time. He lost both front teeth. Oh my God. <laughs> Did the other two come in yet? Did he have like multiple rows of teeth or there's just a big gap in the front? How much did the tooth fairy drop by? A spinning device. Oh, we got moving vehicles here. Wait, that one has a chest. What? It just fell off. Oh boy. Uh, is it gonna respawn in the same spot? Oh, look at that. Look at that, it is. Don't mind me just stealing it. Hit it, hit it. Thank you. Good timing. Is it just me or are we hearing static again? You very well could be hearing static again. If you are, I would have no idea. I would have no idea. Let me, let me take a listen. Uh 
Oh, you definitely are getting static. You hear it, assumed it was the busted ad. No, no, it is not the fan that I have in the background. There is, uh, there are issues hanging, happening with the, uh, capture card again. I don't know why this is happening so often. Let me know if you continue to hear it as I mess around with some stuff. Alrighty. Should be up and running again in a second. Let me know when you guys can see me and we are live again. Let me know when you're here. I'm also letting people know in Discord that we are live again. We are live again. Let me know when you guys are here. Can you see me? Can you hear crackling? Is there anything? I'm not hearing crackling. All right, I think we fixed the crackling issue. Whether or not people know I'm live again, I do not know. <laughs> we should be live. I think we're good. Computer's restarted. Um, you know what has not been restarted? My chat bot. Let's get that back up and running. You're back? Oh, all right, cool. Thank you, Revered. Thank you for letting me know. Don't you just love technical difficulties? This will be fun to edit this stream together. <laughs> Congrats on getting first yet again, pro. Good job. All right, so we're good. You guys don't hear any more static anywhere? Yeah? I just heard some screeching, but I think that was just the the tires of those two uh, those two contraptions hitting each other. I wasn't here when you ended stream, so I got confused. Yeah, all good, all good. We are live again. Thank you for letting me know, though. I do appreciate people messaging and saying, hey, stream died. Just, just want you to know. We're, I don't feel like constructing this, so we're just gonna grab this one. There it is. Perfect. Chatbot shall return. Chatbot is live again. Chatbot's good. Luckily, I just have to hit a button on my stream deck to start that up. Wow, this is just barely fast enough to get over this thing. That's kind of crazy. Nice. What does this do? Oh, I think I know what this does. <laughs> I was going to say, we have to keep it trapped with this thing. Um, I don't think I can get this to move slightly. If only we could get it to move in there and keep it stuck, that'd be great. Well, uh, actually, can I keep it moving this? Whoops. Rotate. Go, rotate it. Push. <laughs> Either it can't rotate that direction or it's not strong enough. Or it's that it's stuck. Your total armor thing is 60 now? Oh my god. Crazy pro. Try that. That worked for a split second. I think it's just because the wheels are getting stuck on this thing. Go, 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 go. Yes, let's go. I'm a genius. Uh, do I have anything to hang on this? Oh, I do. I have two wheels. Oh, and this thing moves. Okay, okay, I see. I see. I should only technically need one then, right? Shouldn't I be able to just do this? Will this work? <laughs> just disconnected. Let's try that again. Um, nope. A little, a little too low there. What is happening to this thing? Yeah, this isn't working. Not how I, in I intended it to. It is facing the right way, though. I'm gonna 100% this game. Yeah, that's gonna be super annoying, bro. I wish you the best of luck, my guy. What can I and can't I stick this to? Cause it re- Wait, am I pushing it? I think I'm pushing it just by doing this. This doesn't quite make sense, but it worked. Barely. Now it's not working. Um, okay. Can we just like, I don't know why it keeps getting pushed down. It doesn't, it doesn't like sticking to the roof. 
we go. Oh no, there's blockers. Ah, uh, hang on, hang on. What if I do this? Will this work? God damn it. Uh, at least it respawns, that's nice. I don't understand why these things keep falling off this structure. It's kind of pissing me off. No reason for it to fall. That's not the right angle, sir. Will that work? I've been trying to get it on just like one track, but there we go, now it's on both tracks. Okay, that was a bit more of a headache than it needed to be. What, bro, did you not do it that easily? Dun, da, 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 da. Five shrines done, let's go. Five shrines plus a technical difficulty and we are, what, now we're into the stream? You did that while I made a whole fucking contraption? Oh yeah, no, I didn't make a whole contraption, no. You literally just had to put the wheel on top of it. That's all it wanted you to do. That is literally all it wanted you to do. Hey, look, there's a dragon. All the way back there. I think I had a dragon scale, but I may have lost it. There, bro, you just gotta know there are infinite ways to beat the puzzles in this game. There are so many different ways you can go about it, whether you just make your own flying machine or whether you do it the intended method. There are a lot of different ways you can do these things. All right, so there's no shrine here. The only thing we're doing at Lookout Landing real quick is we're just ending a quest and starting a new one. And by starting a new one, I mean we're just talking to the NPC to start it. That's it. All right, so I should just have to talk to Joshua. Look very pleased with yourself. Could it be I learned about an underground temple? Auto build? Yeah, that's right. Joshua wanted to know about the final, uh, final Puripad ability we got. With the ability to instantly replicate things you built and schema stones? So there really was a Zonai temple housing a mysterious power down in the depths. Hmm, that may also mean that some of the things collected from the depths may give us other clues. Wait here just a second. Hmm, not that. Nope, not that either. Aha, here we go. What you got, Joshua? Oh, I got another schema stone. Nice. What did we get? Oh, okay, cool. A hot air balloon. That'll be... Nice and easy for us to just make out of anywhere. Yeah. The balloon over there belongs to Goggles, but it's broken. Oh, right. That's been here since we started the game. All right, let's go fix it. We can do that. That sounds easy enough. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, with the schema stones, it's very, very easy. Here we go. I cannot believe it! You rebuilt the balloon in an instant! Balloon. We do have balloon. This mysterious power goes beyond scientific explanation. I hope you can rename it. I don't think you can rename it. I don't I don't care about renaming them though. Hey! What are you yelling about, Joshua? Huh? Inconceivable! My balloon, it's fixed! This must be the mysterious power the zone I had. I never thought I'd see such a marvel with my very own eyes. Thank you for making this a reality. Please, take this. I've been saving it for a special occasion. One large zonite. Cool. Brings me up to 50. I'll take it. Judging from the light, it's got to be a zonite in origin. Since you can use zonite powers, I think it would be better for you to have it. Yeah. Yes, definitely better for me to have this stuff. There we go. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to complete a mystery in the depths. And now Robbie should go to Hateno Village now. Koga, the leader of the Yiga clan, was down there? This is dangerous. I gotta regain my composure. Okay, come this way. I forgot we uh, ran into Master Koga. That'll be fun, running into the Yiga clan every time we go down there. Mm -hmm. So you faced Koga in the depths. Hmm, what's the leader of the Yiga clan up to down there? From what I know, the Yiga clan is a super dangerous group that schemes against the Kingdom of Hyrule, and Koga has had it out for you and Princess Zelda for a long time. He'd do anything to put an end to your lives. Despite everything we're looking into already, we just can't take our eyes off this threat. Besides, Koga could know what's happened to the princess. That would make a lot of sense. If you go after him, keep in mind that I'll be continuing my research of the depths from right here. 
Another series of statues. Yeah, okay, I know. I know what she's talking about. That's fine. But we should hopefully be able to talk to Robbie now. Yes, we must get to that lab. This is what I want. So he's gonna give us the sensor in Hateno Village now, so long as he goes there. And he did, he took his hot hair balloon. Perfect. Hateno Village Research Lab unlocked. Amazing. So we have the ability to get the sensor now, which is not our main focus right now, but it would be very beneficial to have that. You'd call it balloony, the, the schema stone, balloony? Nice. I feel like you gotta draw a silly face on it with other objects you can stick to it if you wanna call it balloony. Oh, you know what? While we're over here too, I did complete one of the newspaper quests, the side quests, and I believe the more of those I complete, the, the more of the sticky armor I can buy, so I wanna see if I can buy a single piece of the armor yet. Balloony is a reference? What's it a reference to? The sensor pissed me off? Why'd the sensor piss you off, bro? Isn't it super helpful for finding shrines? A launching device. Oh boy. Oh, we've uh, we've encountered one of these before. We just have rockets. Wait, this looks easy. Let's take a rocket and line it up. There we go. Well, that was easy enough. It's definitely gonna get a little bit harder though. What do we got in here? We got minecarts. Minecarts. Um. Okay. Did you come from up there? You did not come from up there. I'm stuck. Whoops. No, that's not quite what I wanted to do. Um. Can I just do this? I think I can just do this, no? I did this last time. I cheesed it. Bruh, you gotta face the right way. <laughs> I need him facing straight, hang on. We can totally go uphill on this. Why are you not, uh... There we go. <laughs> it's working! No! Ah, oh, it was working. That's kind of difficult. I kind of, I figured it might give me a little more distance on it. Try that again. Is there a way to like, center him properly on this? Shoot. I don't think it's gonna work that way. Fidis and Ferb, Balloony is, oh, Dr. Doofenshmirtz's best friend. You're right, he tragically lost when he was a child because his father forced him to be their lawn gnome so he couldn't hold onto it and floated away. Oh my God, you're right. Dude, I forgot about that backstory. Oh yeah, Fidis and Ferb is definitely an amazing show and they're bringing it back, I'm pretty sure. I thought I saw they were bringing it back. Bruh, he faced the wrong way. I, I'm not sure how to ride this uphill. It also just like doesn't want to go on it properly. There we go. Oh wait, I do know how to ride this uphill. I do know how. Yeah, they've got new episodes coming. Right, right. Dan... Hovenmeyer announced new episodes. Who is that? Is that the creator of the show? The only person I know from that show, and I don't even know him by name, I just know him, is uh, the guy who plays Doofenshmirtz, because he got really popular on TikTok. Uh, can I get in? Sir, can I get in? There we go. Perfect. Not perfect. Oh my god. All right, it worked. I lost the second one. There it is. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, that he is the lead animator and voice of Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Okay, I didn't know he played both roles. Oh, hello. What is what is that? What is that up there? Check this out. Is 
This is so cool. Ready, boop. Up we go. Ha <laughs> ha perfect. That is so epic. I love being able to just throw a rocket on your shield. All right, what's the goal here? Are we just trying to get over there or do we have to, I don't think we need to bring anything over with us. I think we just need to get over there. I see you learned the shield rocket thing. Yes, I did learn the shield rocket thing. Shield rocket is very useful. I literally hit the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, shield rocket is great, dude. Shield rocket is OP. I just wish it lasted longer. There we go. That is a sixth shrine done. And we'll really quickly see if I can some, buy some armor. And then we'll warp all the way back to the east side of the map. Grab another tower. Imagine having multiple shields if that would have worked. Dude, I just have rocket shield after rocket shield ready to go. Looks like I have 30 shrines done. Not bad, not bad. I also, I think some of these thorns opened up. Maybe. All right, yeah, so we gotta go over to the stable here. This is where the lucky leaf gazette thingy is. Oh, I also picked up a side quest where I have to get to every well on the map and tell someone about them. There's like 52 wells that I need to find. Alrighty, where are you? Here we go. Ah, hello, Link. Working hard at such a late hour? Good, good. Now that the blizzard has finally stopped, my sisters and I can get back to work. Duma headed off to the northeast toward Goron City, I think. She's looking into a rumor about some kind of underground city there. She's a little too quick to trust people, in my opinion. I hope she's not chasing a lead that goes nowhere. Yeah. By the way, how are you and Pen doing? Everything going okay? Did you lose track of your partner? Yeah, I know where he is. That's fine. When a great fairy showed up there... Yes, we do have the great fairy quest right now. But can I not get any of these yet? With the uh, work with Pen to get to the bottom of the rumors about Princess Zelda, and I'll give you froggy armor piece by piece. I'm counting on. Okay, so I cannot get them yet. That's fine. I just wanted to check. Let's warp back over. Oh, you know what? There's two. There's two shrines we got near Hyrule Castle. Let's go do those. There's one that's actually that's on Hyrule Castle. So we're gonna do that right now. So when is Phineas and Ferb coming back? I did hear a while ago about extra episodes or just the, the show being renewed after being done for multiple years, which is pretty cool. But I don't know if they're like continuing where they left off or it's kind of like a soft reboot where they're restarting the series. I kind of hope it's a soft reboot, honestly. I'd love for them to just restart. Yeah, the shrine is definitely a part of Hyrule Castle. The way up. Alrighty. Let's see what it wants us to do here. It's not too bad. Ah, uh, it's gonna fall. Uh, it's not gonna fall. Let's go. I'm not sure when the episodes would be coming out, but I would be surprised if stuff going on right now is gonna hold it back. Oh, right, because there's there's a whole writer strike going on. True. So that that could definitely affect when this episode when those episodes come out. Oops. All right, we got we got two things here. Did I not just like balance it like this? Um, hang on. This is probably not gonna work. You know, I kind of feel like that maybe almost would have worked. Well, this is definitely not going to work. Um, good God. There we go. <laughs> Let's try this again. I think I know what they want. I don't know what they want yet, but I'm just trying to mess around right now. I haven't, like, actually stepped back to think about what I'm supposed to do here. Because I'm just trying to kind of be funny with it. I know it's going gonna, it's gonna to fall to the right again. 
Alright, I kind of figured it would fall that way too, but I wanted to wanted to give it a shot. So I think those are the only You know what? Those are not the only two platforms I have. I have this one as well. Shit. Oh yes! It's a bit. Let's go, let's go. Alright. Alright. I know what to do here. I, I, the, let me rephrase. I don't know what to do here. I know what I can do here. There's a big difference. Perfect. Don't fall. <laughs> that almost just fell backwards. Ah, uh, there we go. Easy enough. That definitely doesn't seem like what I was supposed to do, but it worked, so I don't care. Is this? Oh, oh, all right. I was like, this this is looks exactly like the first puzzle, but it's not, it's slightly different. And I believe all I have to do is, oh, not that. Actually, yeah, hang on. Drop that, are any of these skinny? Not necessarily skinny. Oh, there is also that up there. That would be, that would be nice. I wonder, can I get that from over here? No, I definitely can't. All right, let's get the chest first. Gotta get the chest first. What did you think I had to do in the last section, Revered? Because I'm assuming it was definitely not what I actually did. This will work, right? I mean, I don't think, can I run up this? This is sloped perfectly for me to run up. Go, Link, go! Oh my god, are you joking? Bruh, bruh, what is this? I think one of the boards was supposed to attach the other at a 45 degree angle to make a support beam against the wall. Wall. Um, I, I'm not exactly picturing what you're saying because I just feel like friction wise it wouldn't there, there wouldn't have been enough structural support. I don't know. Magic rod. I sh you know what? I do want another magic rod. Let's get rid of this. Okay. Now, to finish this puzzle off, the way I assume it wants you to do it, is... Oh, not like that. Um, let's, yeah, let's just do that there for a sec. And then I'm assuming this will work based on the fact that we were able to slip one of these through the doorway before. I'm assuming it can be done again. Oh no, is it just barely too not wide enough? The, this King Gleok is so annoying. I don't think I've encountered a Gleok. How, what, what are the Gleoks? Have I encountered one of them? Can I not grab that from down there? Bro, really? Gleox, that's a boss from A Link to the Past. There's, they're combining everything in this game, man. Everything in this game is combining. Actually, I don't think this is gonna work the way I intended it to. Um, unless. Yeah, I can't get it to go in. I don't. Maybe if I do, not that, if I do this. Oh, hang on, hang on. Ha ha, let's go, let's go, okay. So now, now I do, I do this. Stand it up right. Fucking leave it there, don't fall, don't fall. And then we do this and we attach. No, oh God, <laughs> I'm okay. We got it. I, I made it through. This is this is definitely gonna work out. I don't know if this was the uh, intended solution. I'm interested to see what you guys would have done. All right, just just sure. Patch it. I don't care. 
Fine. There we go. A little sloppy, but it worked. Oops. Perfect. Let's go! I feel like I cheesed that, but I, I, I don't know how else it would have been done. They're like side bosses. Oh, the Gleox are side bosses. Yeah, gotcha. You don't have to do them, but you can if you want to. Oh, the three-headed dragon is the Gleox. Okay, so I have seen a Gleox before, uh, but I never went towards it. We didn't encounter it. I just know where one is. My bad, I typed the wrong game. I was thinking of another boss. Gleox are from Oracle of Seasons. So they're still from a different Zelda game. They still, they're still bringing back enemies from different games. All right, there was another shrine. Where was it? Right over there. Goodbye, Hyrule Castle. Oh, look, there's a dude. There's a magic dude down there dancing around. So, Oracle of Seasons. Which what what Zelda game was that? What was the style, play style, or or plot of that game? Because I know that's not one of the traditional the, like the 3D games. Alrighty, here we go, another shrine. We got the Sapapa Shrine. This is Backtrack. Alright, we're gonna have to go back and forth in this shrine a bunch. Let's see what's happening here. We're not gonna be able to ride that, but we can up warp. Simple enough. Uh, oh wait, did I want to up warp here? Oh no, I didn't want to up warp here. I want to up warp on the other side. Okay, all right, I see, I see. You tricked me once. Oracle of Seasons was an older Zelda game made for, oh, for Game Boy Color, okay. Well, I had a Game Boy Color, but we all know back then I was not playing any Zelda games. Torch. Oh, do I need to light these two? Is that all it wants is just me to light these? Don't I have, I have a ruby staff. There's one, there's two. Well, that was easy. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the hell all that stuff was. Oh, there's also, there's a chest over there. Hang on. I should probably go get the chest. Did the current just change directions? My guy, really? Oh, that piece of wood is gone. There we go. Give me my bonus chest. You believe it was a 2D Zelda game? Sim well, yeah, if it was Game Boy Color, it was definitely a 2D game. 100%. Uh, similar in structure to Link's Awakening. Oh, where it's a 3D-ish environment. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Link's Awakening I actually do have in my possession again, so I'll be playing that on my own time at some point. Oh, I see. These, uh... Logs of wood just keep respawning. That's what's happening. I also can't... Oh, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. I need to wait for the plank of wood. Any ideas what we're doing here? Because we're recalling that bitch. There we go. I wish you could like speed up or slow down the recall. I feel like that would be interesting if you could con control the speed at which these things went. All right, cool. Is that it? That is not it. We got more here. We got to get a tiny ball. We got to get that tiny ball in here. Just found out what my dinner is tonight and I'm excited. My mom is making meatball pull aparts again. Enjoy, revered, enjoy. Seems like a ball spawn area. What does this do? Oh, do these unlock doors? These unlock their respective doors. Okay. Okay. And then can I just do this? Is it really as simple as that? You're gonna fall in the hole, right? You're gonna you're gonna fall in the hole? Sir? You're gonna fall in the hole? There we go. I think this puzzle is really just this simple. Oh, it totally is. All right. 
We're done. We just gotta wait. <laughs> we gotta wait for the ball to roll all the way around the thing again. Good God. So many creative ideas. I know, right? As soon as I saw there wasn't a second ball that was gonna spawn, I figured this is what they wanted you to do. There we go. There we go, baby. This is why I like these puzzles. These puzzles are fun. Finally got the Gleok, nice pro, nice. So, pro, I know you finished the main story. You've defeated Ganondorf, you've gotten all, all the tiers. I don't think you have all the shrines yet. No, you said you had 80, so you don't have all the shrines. But, um, what, what else have you been working towards? I'm assuming you have all the map. Do you have all of the depths unlocked? I think we have one more shrine before I'm gonna warp to the next tower. Yeah, let's do this shrine. Gleox are so interesting. I feel like I'm just gonna fight everything from a ranged, a ranged distance, because I'm better ranged than up close. <gasps> You guys have seen my fighting up close. It's not that great. It amazes me they brought back multiple bosses from various old titles. I feel like it's because they're trying to bring everything together with this timeline, you know? That's why I'm interested to see once I finish the game and I like, I have all the story knowledge so that nothing's spoiled for me. I want to see what the theories are. Why is this shrine all dark? Shining in darkness. Um, okay. Oh, I have a light. Actually, I have a bunch of these Zonai equipment. Well, that's dope. Oh, there's a key lock. What the heck? I don't think I've ever done one of these with a key lock. I wonder if anything from Ocarina of Time made it. Yeah, pro, don't answer. No spoilers. No spoilers. Uh, that looks dangerous. Is that not gonna, like, lunge out at me? No? Just a random spike wall. Okay. All right. Damn, we're really in a maze right now. Please don't tell me there's enemies in this maze. Okay, lasers I can deal with. Lasers are not bad. Let's go! what I get? Did I get the key or a bonus? I got bonus. We got Opal. Let's go. Oh, you never played Ocarina of Time? It's okay, Pro. Neither have I. So, we don't know what we're missing. I wish I could sprint while holding this. Your friend has it for N64, though. You should play it on your friend's system, then. That's what I did for uh, Super Mario Sunshine the first time I played it. Uh, I don't trust this. Gonna let that collide real quick. Oh, they move slow. Oh, they move real slow. All right, we're fine. And there's so many corridors. Dude, where do I go in here? This is a giant shrine. This thing's actually like massive. Okay, there's another chest. See what's on this one. Key? Maybe? Luminous stone, not a key. Go back to that corner I passed. Are bright bloom seeds available for use in here? That they are, sir. Uh, I don't think that worked. That they are, sir. That they are. Makes things easier. You smart. Now I don't have to walk around carrying that thing. What is going on here? What is going on here? What the heck? You trying to hide the key? What is this? Well, I found it. God damn. Okay, so two things. One, I don't remember shrines ever having keys in Breath of the Wild like a temple would. And two, there's definitely never a maze like this that I had done in a shrine, so I'm already loving this. What do we got here? What's going on here? Another chest in the wall? Shrines did have keys in Breath of the Wild? I don't think they did. Oh, I just don't remember that. All right, you're, you're both saying that they did. I don't remember that. The only time I've really, like, found keys like this, or multiple of them, to me was when I was doing the, uh, Skyward Sword temples. Or dungeons. Those, those felt very different. Am I back at the start now? I am. 
Pardon me, and I'm working on the depths, all the side quests, uh, slash side adventures, and obviously shrine quests, yeah, gotta do all the shrine quests. And every boss. So, by every boss, do you mean you're gonna do all the Hinox, Molduga, and whatever else, um, what else are there? What, what were the... Uh, what were those centaur-like creatures that were super annoying? I forget their names. I'm assuming you're gonna fight all those. Lynels, yes, the Lynels, thank you. Yeah, I think, so with those, I know in Breath of the Wild, the way those worked is they'll respawn, like with, with a Blood Moon, they'll all respawn, but if you defeat all of them once, you'll get a medal for it. But you won't know if you've beaten them because they'll respawn, you know? They won't just stay despawned after you beat them. So say you're trying to go around and fight all, let's say 40, I don't know if there's more in this game, but there were 40 in Breath of the Wild. Let's say you, you went around and you tried to fight all 40 of them, and you fought 39, you would have to go around and fight all 40 again because you wouldn't know which one out of 40 you missed. So there's Stone Talus, Hinox, Stalnox, Lionel, Gleox, and Mulduga. Good God. All right, let's get this tower. This is a new tower. This is gonna have the Great Forest behind Hyrule Castle. So that's actually, I don't know if it's still there, but in the last game, this is where we got the Master Sword from. I hope there's not others you're missing, Revered. I hope not. That's why I have stamps. 287 left. Good god. That was a lot. This music is so, like, calm and peaceful when he's floating through the air. I love it. Let's go! More map completed. I want 100% Tears of the Kingdom, so it's worth it. I might put in the time to try it. We'll see. There's a lot. There's just so much to do, so I don't know. I'll definitely be doing quests, side quests, shrine quests, for sure. Oh, I never showed you how much of the depths I have. So this is my depths map. I've got, like, a couple entrance points over here. I've got this whole area that's all connected from the starting region. And then, obviously, I go... I go over here. Why do I have a stamp on that? Last location. Oh. Okay. So yeah, obviously I go there a lot for the crystallized shards, but that's my depths map. Still a bit to go there. I kind of want to get the tier on this sword over here, so let's do that. We're already here. We might as well. Let's grab a memory. I think it's dead center on the hilt. And then after that, we'll warp to our next location. Oh, it is not dead center on the hilt. There's an empty tier on the hilt. Hang on. We can find it from up here. Empty tier, empty tier, three empty tiers. And three more empty tiers. I think that's it. I think it's at the tip of the sword. Look at Link using his Nintendo Switch. I mean, I mean, pure pad. <laughs> oh, I just found another shrine too. Dope. So we'll get the we'll get the memory, we'll get the shrine, and then we'll move on. I know my goal for today was the fire temple, but we got really distracted by other stuff. I saw a YouTube short and it was Link, Tears of the Kingdom, and playing Breath of the Wild, and then Link played Tears of the Kingdom, then the third Link played Wait, what? How many links were there? Jesus Christ. That's like a funny short though. These geoglyphs look so different up close compared to when you're in the air. All right, here we go. We found one of the tiers. Let's get some story. Some lore. Gotta love the lore. Linkception is all I heard. Yeah, basically. Basically revered. All right, so we've gotten two, three memories total. One of them is the, the very first memory. The other two we've gotten are very, very out of order. So let's see where this one falls. This takes place. That is the Shrine of Resurrection that I was in. Managed to restrain him somehow. What? They're paralleling uh, Raru and Ganondorf's fight with me. 
sure and the be able to calamity stop stuff, the gloom. There, there was a shot of a fight there between Ganon and Raru that we hadn't seen before. What you doing at the Temple of Time, huh? That's the ball of light that we people have been seeing floating around as if it was Zelda. So are we gonna get some clarity on this now? Or her tears just gonna light up when she's near it? The recall ability? This is what happens when recall goes into effect. Things go black and white. Oh, the Master Sword got transported to her. How? I mean, that makes sense. This was the Master Sword Geoglyph that we were on top of. How is the Master Sword? Is that Fee? Wait, wait, isn't that Fee's sound effect? Tell me Fee comes back. I think it's safe. That was definitely the same sound effect that Fee used in Skyward Sword. And recover your strength. It sounds similar. No, that's definitely that's the same sound effect. I believe there is a reason you were sent to us. It has to mean something. So did we just get a memory and the Master Sword also gave her a memory? That's memoryception, bro. I, I, am here. I don't. <laughs> I don't, Zelda. I'm glad you do. It's something only I can do. We will finally stop him. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. What? I'm an immortal dragon. Do Raru and Sonya become dragons or something? But that doesn't make sense. We have three dragons. That would only Forever make up two changed. of them. I don't understand. Link. You must find me. Girl, you're like a thousand years in the past. How am I supposed to get there? God damn it. Yeah, there's three dragons, bro. You're fine. You're, 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 you're right. There are three. But she say, they said something about becoming an immortal dragon. So I don't know who's becoming a dragon. But if it were Raru and Sonya, I don't think that necessarily wouldn't make sense. But you're still, you're missing the third. You're missing the third dragon, so it doesn't account for everything. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot to think about with that. Also, one thing that I do want to say, and this is just me being really, really nerdy. I like that you're seeing the memories through these tears because I have I saw a video on YouTube a, a while ago at this point, but it had something to do with like the fact that water could contain memories or something like that. Like, I, I, I don't know what it was, but something about H2O's properties, it, it, it could remember stuff. I don't know. I couldn't explain it well. I saw it in a YouTube video somewhere. But I feel like this, the, the science kind of matches up with the memories we're watching, you know? Because they're in the tears. I don't know. I like it. I'm just being a nerd. You have Okay, so at least someone knows what I'm talking about. I'm glad someone got that. Glad I'm not crazy. Spinning gears. Let's do another shrine. Yeah, thank God someone knows what I'm talking about. Oh, I definitely just saw one of my friends do this shrine. This is very easy. There we go. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. There we go. <laughs> that took no time at all. No, it really didn't. It's pretty obvious what you need to do. That's not the end of the shrine, though. I have no clue what you just said. I'll have to find the video for you, Pro, because obviously I did not explain it well, but the video would explain it much better than I could. That's good enough, right? Bring us up. Good enough. I told you it was an easy shrine. 
I'd have to go digging for that video. No, I bet you I could find it right now. Hang on. Hang on. Whole documentary. Wait, there's a whole documentary on this? Well, oh, there's a bunch of videos on this topic, so I don't know specifically what video I watched, but there are a bunch of videos. Do, 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 do. I mean, this, this one seems like it's the actual documentary, so I'll throw this in chat. This is a long video, though. It's 50 minutes. I don't know if I watched this whole thing. But that that's... There's a whole documentary about water memory right there in chat for you if, you, if you're ever curious about what I was trying to talk about. But yeah, I think... None of these other videos are catching my eye like it's something I've seen before. There's also another one from nine years ago that's an hour and 25 minutes. Could be that as well. I'm not sure. Let's continue on. Let's go to the next tower. The Elden Canyon Tower. We might not even get to start the Fire Temple today, honestly, with how many shrines I had laid out to do, but that's okay. I'm having fun. Plus, we got another one of the memories, which I'm happy with. Pseudoscience! Yeah, welcome on in, Gerbil. You probably know a little bit about what we're talking about. Oh, this tower was cool. So, a, a couple of the towers that I unlock the fast travel for off stream. I still have to do some like mini quests just to get in. Like half the time the doors are shut or the scanner's not working. So you have to do something to get it opened again. Uh, for this one, the cap, this thing right in front of me is the cap that goes all the way on the top of the tower. So I had to ride up to the top and fall into the tower from the top. But we got it. So you'll notice as I go up this, there's no cap. It's just gonna shoot me out. My mom's going on a bike ride and she doesn't want me and my sister home alone because she thinks we might get in trouble. The bike ride is Saturday and Sunday. Oh, okay, so not, not today, bro. Sounds like you've got a long weekend, though. A two-day bike ride, though? That sounds like a lot. Oh, look, there's an island right next to me. With rails? Oh, there's actually a lot of rails coming from that island. Bro was trying to tell us he might not be able to make it to the watch party. Oh, oh, okay, I understand what you're saying now. Absolute garbage. What? What's absolute garbage, Gerbil? There we go. More map. We got all of Goron City on the map now. And Death Mountain, finally. Let's go. So I know there's an island literally right next to me, so I guess we'll just land on that real quick and see if there's anything there. And then we'll, uh, we'll head to the shrines that I have marked. Yeah, so there is railing on this. There's railing connecting all of these. These enemies? You are an enemy. Okay. That means you die. Goodbye. Nice. Okay, I see what they've got here. I think they just want you to... Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? They definitely just want you to ride around from island to island here, which I don't want to do at the moment. But we can explore all these later. Strong construct bow. Um, it's worth taking. Yes, it is. Cool. All right, we got what I was looking for here. Let's go to the Timowak Shrine. By the way, Karate Man, I meant like my mom thinks she would get in trouble for letting my sister, me and my sister stay home for one night. Yeah, I, I get I get you, pro. I get you. It's definitely not the uh, best thing to leave your two young children home alone overnight. So I understand where your mom's coming from. I mean, my parents used to leave me alone all the time, but not overnight. It would just be during the day. Oh, I didn't realize your sister was uh, was older than you, pro. But still, 16, you know, you're still technically a kid. Uh, oh, this is just like Skyward Sword. It's making me a little path in the lava because there's water spewing on it. That's cute. Can I, uh, I cannot grab that. I can grab these. It's interesting. Probably I'm gonna have to. Take care of this dude. Nice try. How was that not a headshot? There we go. <laughs> 
get wrecked. I'm gonna take your bow too. How you feel, bitch? How you feel? You're losing your bow. No, I just picked up the same bow I dropped. Cool. All right, we need an orb. When you landed on the sky island, I thought you said, are you an anemone? Not, are you an enemy? <laughs> I gotcha, I gotcha. No, this is not Finding Nemo. We are not searching for anemones. There's a chest back there. Can I just hop between these? No, you cannot. No, they definitely want you to use recall here. Actually, you know what I could do? Just make a bridge across. I don't have to wait for anything when we're done here. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Come here. No! Oh. <laughs> of course I walk off in the lava. Yeah, I probably could have shield hopped it. You're right. I just didn't. All right, can we just like, can I do this now? God dang it. No, get off. Oh, that was close. All right, this will work. There we go. Bridge constructed. Perfect. What about this? I need more blocks. Wait, I need you to spew water. There we go. <laughs> Almost there. One more block, should do the trick. A bra moment. Hey, if it works, it works. That's all that counts. Let's go. I love how it lifted the plank so it could come reach this one. Strong Zoanite shield, don't mind if I do. I will gladly get rid of war shields. Wait, can I, can I attach the shield to the shield? I cannot. This is already fused with something. Okay, give me you. See, now we don't have to worry about like jumping onto a platform at the right timing. We can just walk right across the bridge I made. Isn't that perfect? <laughs> of course it rolled past. I think there's another puzzle we need to do in here still. There is, there's one more. A shield shield, yes! Gotta get the shield shield. Alright, we got fans. Um, water dispensers over there. Wait, how do I... What? I need to get up there. Is it possible to take this thing through the doorway? Oh, Jesus. Um, this might not be possible. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be possible. <laughs> I can't even rotate it, it's too big. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to one piece at a time, unfortunately. That's the only way it's going to fit. There we go. Got to go on the diagonal. It's some getting better with the rotation. This is working perfectly. Wait, I could just do this. There we go. <laughs> Gotta think smarter, not harder. All right, so these are just spewing water. So then, uh, why don't you come spew some water? Actually, do I even, do I even need that? I might not even need that, hang on. Let's see. Probably could have put that not dead center. All right. Yeah, all right, I kind of figured that wasn't gonna work first try. Let's uh, put you there.
Will this work? Let's go! Lava boat! What's up, Ruby Rudy? Welcome on back to the dojo. I am veering a little far to the left here. It's okay. Let's go. Genius. Wee! <laughs> Boating a lot across the lava, I do have to say. It was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. Let's go. How many more shrines do I have left on my journey here? I found so many shrines off stream. It's too many. I don't know what I'm going to do between now and next week. There's going to be so much downtime before I get to stream it again. Have we cheesed any more shrines today? We've definitely been cheesing some stuff, my guy. We've definitely been cheesing some stuff. Right now, we're going around and getting all the shrines that I've unlocked but have not completed. So, for instance, I've got the Ekochio Shrine, however the frick you pronounce it. We're going to go do this one. How are you doing today, Ruby, though? You having a good, uh, was it Wednesday? You having a good Wednesday? I hope you're having a good Wednesday. If you stick around right now, maybe we'll cheese a shrine literally this moment. Here we go. What do we got? What kind of puzzle? Wednesdays are always good. You get paid on Wednesdays. Nice, nice, Ruby Rudy. I get paid, what, the 15th and the 30th of every month. So twice a month, not specifically on Wednesdays. Rise and fall. All right, how can we cheese this for Ruby Rudy? How can we cheese this? This looks like it's gonna launch me. Oh, I see, I see. Well, for this one, we can just, uh, we can recall it is all. Not really much cheese we need to do for this, but it's not really that hard. There we go. Puzzle one done. What's next? Rise and fall, it said. So I think, do we have to fall? No, we definitely don't want to fall. Can I move this? I can move this. What is this and what does it get me? I think it's just a box. It is a climbable box. Okay, that's helpful. Definitely helpful. Let's move this over here for now. I should be able to make it up on this, right? I get paid weekly. It's supposed to be Friday, but I have USAA and being a government contractor, I get paid two days early. Well, good for you, man. That's lucky. I think I can make this jump. Hang on. I can't push that further away, but what I can do is this. Oh, that totally looked like it would work. All right, it's fine. Let's just do this. Just bring it down. Oh, that's why I couldn't move it. There's a chest over here. Didn't realize there was a chest. That shield jump almost made it, dude. That shield jump was close. Another Zoanite shield. Um, yeah, we'll drop this. Rip my metal plate shield. Um, that did not work how I was hoping for it to work. Where did this cube even come from? Because this cube was like floating downstream. You know what? I know what I can do. I know what I can do. We can do this. This is going to work perfectly. Ruby, you ready for me to cheese something? Because I'm about to cheese something for you. I don't know how they want you to do this, but this is exactly how I'm doing it. Perfect. You just hold a block in the air, recall it, and then you go up underneath it. Simple as that. What do we got here? Another cube. Ah, this pushes the cube up, I see. Alrighty, alrighty. Do we have any uh, rockets or fans or anything? I don't think there's anything else. I think it's just that. Oh, you know what? We have to do the same exact thing we just did. That's all. That's all we're doing. That's literally all you're doing. It's the same exact thing. It's pretty easy. It's too high. Oh God. Oh God. Okay, maybe I didn't have the right idea there. <laughs> Let's try that again. Try that again. 
I think I can just keep it here. I think I think that's the goal is to keep it there. <laughs> I thought that block would have one shot you. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of surprised it didn't. That was terrifying. See, I got it on the early side this time. This is gonna go all the way up. Wait, can I just wait for it to go all the way up and crush me? Ready, ready, ready. And up we go. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> that totally would have crushed me against the ceiling. There we go. Nice. Let's go. Maybe I didn't cheese it. Maybe that was the way you were supposed to do it the whole time. That was funny, man. I totally should have died. Alrighty, what shrine is next? What do we got next? I think it, there's one more tower I need to unlock? One more tower that I've found that I need to unlock. Right? Yeah, one more. We got one more. Let's uh, let's do the shrines leading up to that tower. I honestly didn't know how long these shrines were gonna take today. We might not even get to the Koron region. Let's see. We wouldn't really know, but you have been serving up shrines with extra cheese. Yes, sir. We shredding that cheese. We got all kinds of cheese. What's your favorite kind of cheese? You guys, you go for your cheddar or Swiss, or are you going for like some Havarti? What kind of cheese do you like? I'm a good like American and cheddar dude. Can't go wrong with those. You've got deep force. Alrighty. What you got for me, Deep Force? We got a ball. I see where this ball needs to go. Do I need to launch it there? Or can I just touch it? Oh, I can't reach up that high. Um, That is cool that it's bouncing in the water though. That is interesting. All right, what can I do here? You know what, actually, I might be able to get up there on top of the ball. Well, when it's not bouncing, that is. See, now this is where people think I'm crazy. I'm not a huge fan of cheese on its own or melted onto certain foods. You know, some of my IRL friends are the same way, Revered, and I, you're right, I do think it's weird. I do not like cheese. You like Parmesan on pasta because of my Italian ass. Fair, fair. Uh, oh wait, I have a better idea. To me. That might work. Let's see. Yes. This is not moving how I thought it would. I'm also slipping off of it. Um, all right, this did not, this did not work as intended. Can I, can I fuse this? That's fucking fantastic. Shit. Okay, hang on, this might work. <laughs> I should have fused it with a damn arrow. Why did I fuse it with my sword? Okay, I can, I can. Oh, it's a float, it's not even a ball. It's literally called a float. That's funny. That's funny. All right, let's, uh, let's destroy it because I didn't mean to fuse it with this. What we can do Wait, can I fuse it with this? No, I can't fuse it with an arrow. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right, I can't fuse it with an arrow. You're right, you're right. So then let's, uh... Let's try fusing it with this again. I guess I just gotta aim better. Bro, that is so close. That is so close. Am I missing something here? Is, is there... Yeah, I gotta get it higher than that. I feel like I'm missing something with this shrine. Get as close as we can. And then up we go. Bro, what? All right, let me aim a little lower down. Dude. 
No, he's not aiming high enough. Float club. Well, I wouldn't be able to join that. <laughs> you don't float on water, Revered? Why not? I can swim, but I can't float much. That's funny. But I don't think this is what it wants me to do. Is there anything else I can interact with in here? I don't think there is. There's definitely nothing else I can interact with. It's just the ball and the target. That's all we got. That's all we got. Maybe it wants you to launch the float into it somehow. Oh yeah, it definitely does. I just don't know how. And I can't attach multiple of these to each other. Cause it's not a thing. But will let me kind of push it slightly. I don't like that really does much. Maybe drop from up high and let it bounce. That's I, I did do that, it didn't bounce high enough. I just like, can I do this? Damn it. <laughs> Bro, what am I supposed to do? This is as high up as I can go, so. I don't know how to make it bounce any higher. I can't drop down onto it. That, that's what I want them to try and do, is I want them to get up there and just like drop down on it, but I'm not sure how. But yeah, we need some extra cheese here. We need some extra cheese. I also would like my sword back. And my arrow. Yeah, I don't know. I can't, I can't climb this thing. Link just kind of swims under it. At your 81st shrine, good god. That's crazy, pro. Pro, do you have any hints for this shrine? Cuz I'm a bit lost. I know I can, um... I can do that, but I don't think that really gets me anything. I'm just gonna keep bouncing. I don't know. You have to hit the thing that's above it. Yes, that is quite obvious. I did know I had to hit the thing above it. Thank you for that. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. I don't know. I, I'm at a loss. I can't up warp. You haven't done that? Oh, you haven't done this shrine? Shit. The only thing I, could, thing I could think of would be to fuse it, but fusing is not doing me any good. That hit the top. I it, it very clearly hit the top, but I can't do it fused. I have to do it with the ball somehow. And I, I'm at an utter loss here. There must be not enough things I've learned about the water yet. Yeah, yeah, this is the first room. This is the first room. There's nothing behind this. Yeah, no, this, this is it. We walk in and we get a float and a target. That is it. That is it. Yeah, if you want to take a quick, quick peek at the internet, that's fine by me because I'm a little stuck on this shrine. I am, I am stuck. Wait, can I like... Yeah, I just, I physically don't have the ability to get the ball any higher than what it currently is at. And I can't stick it to anything. So that doesn't help. I do not know. Nothing I can grab through the wall. What's the name of the shrine? Deep Force. Oh, 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 it just came to me. I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. I got it. Deep, as in underwater, force. There we go. 
I'm such a dummy. I just have to think of the name because it's deep underwater. Wow. Wow. That's so dumb because it's got buoyancy. I hate everything. God damn it. Why is that so simple? Yeah, right? I should have thought of that too. The, the not water pressure, buoyancy. The buoyancy force. What the heck? I don't think I've ever seen them swing their heads like that for an attack. Probably like combine stuff with my sword. What's a... Uh, the good one. Got a bunch of these. Let's, let's drop three of these and attach them to stuff. Is that all I have? I mean, I do have the magic rod. It's not worth attaching it to the magic rod, though. Well, water pressure would force the object upward. No, that's that's the buoyancy force. Buoyancy is what pushes it upward, not pressure. So I can stand on this board this time. Is there still a float in here? Or was I supposed to bring the float through? I think I was supposed to bring the float through. If not, I'm going back for it. <laughs> Whatever works. Why must you be so far away? Come to me. Here we go. If only I could like push this thing quickly. That'd be great. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Hidden chest. Little sneaky sneaky. What I get? Ah, uh, it's another bow. I think I have more than I need here. Yeah, alright, we don't need that. Unfortunate. Good thing they don't get rid of this orb, the the float, as you progress from room to room. That would kind of suck. <laughs> Did not work. Get rid of that. Try that again. There we go. I'm not sure what the point of the float was. You know what? I probably could have done it with the float. Now that I think about it, the uh, the the plank. I mean, I I don't think I can grab it from here. That's okay. We don't need it. What do we got here? Okay, I see. I see. Gotta move some stuff out of the way. Perfect. Ah! Jesus, that almost crushed me. Maybe a little too perfect. Up we go. Gonna like launch up. There we go. Oh, stay up. I didn't even need that extra plank of wood. There we go. We got it. All right, we learned about buoyancy forces. We completed another shrine. We're learning. That was actually a really good one for learning. I'm glad you asked me what the name of the shrine was revered. Cause honestly, if you hadn't asked me the name, I never would have figured out the answer on my own. It just clicked when you asked. Thirty-seven shrines done. What's next? We got one over here. Yeah, it's actually really funny how the answer came to me right as you were about to look it up. I love that. Oh, this one, right. Okay, so this was a shrine I found literally by accident inside a cave. I just happened to run into it. My shield is gonna break very soon. All right, so this shrine is, what do we got, what do we got? 
Is this a blessing? This is just a blessing. All right, easy shrine. Take that. Hey, another diamond. Let's go. Let's go. Diamond fusing is actually great for weapons. Plus 25 attack power. That's crazy. Not like you had several. Yeah, I got I got just a few diamonds. It's fine. It's nothing. I just I like collecting shiny objects. What can I say? What can I say? I don't know which one to pick. What are you choosing between pro? Also, welcome back. You said BRB before. Well, that's another shrine. That's 38 done. And in case you were wondering, I have 44 diamonds to my name. Oh, wait, what am I doing? We don't need to climb this. We can warp. Here we go. Warp into the tower. 44 diamonds is a good amount. It's pretty rare. Because of shenanigans? What do you, I don't know what you're talking about, Revered. I got those 44 diamonds legit through chests. And we're pretty close to the Zonai. Zo what am I saying? Zona the Zora, the Zora region. And we're about to see it on the map. Check it out, check it out. Sure. What, you don't believe me? What's there not to believe? Something I discovered in this region, you can see it on the ground there already. There's like, there's sludge stuff. And the only way you can get rid of the sludge is to splash it with water. And to do so, you need to use the splash fruit, which is kind of interesting. Did we just pass one of those orb structures? We did, there's a death star next to me. What the heck? We're gonna land on that. We're totally gonna land on that. Time to pull a revered. Uh-oh, we got ice cream coming. It's ice cream time. So I didn't really celebrate my birthday because I told my mom I didn't care where we went for my birthday. And now my mom asked me to choose a place to take to take her friends to to get an expensive gift. Oh, okay. All right. So what are you trying to choose between? Oh, ew. Look at the sludge water on the map. It's so gross. We got to save the, the Zora region. Jeez. That's nasty. Yeah, that's gross, right, Revered? That doesn't look good. This orb, however, very much intrigues me. It's a rotating orb, what the heck? What is this thing? It's like rotating on a weird axis too. Is there an entrance to this? Oh, <gasps> there is. Yo, there's a shrine! Yo, let's go! That's dope. I had no idea these things had a shrine. You missed the ore? I said take my friends, oh, take your friends somewhere or get an expensive gift. Yes, sorry, I did miss that. My bad, my bad. So what would you rather do? Would you ha rather have an experience with your friends or something expensive for yourself, pro? That was cool, that orb was dope. A flying device, yeah, no shit. <laughs> we, we're literally in a floating orb. All right, but I see we got the, oh, oh, this, this looks like a Fall Guys creative level. There's so many paths, there's things slanted at weird angles. Um, can I not just go straight to the finish line? This looks like I could go straight to the finish. Um, well, we're gonna try it. That is not the power I thought I had on. Media Tonic took inspiration, yeah, really. Were they spawning here and I just missed it? No! <laughs> <gasps> Why must you do such a thing? Try again. That map is pretty fun. Damn it, now you got me saying map. It is a shrine, it is not a Fall Guys map. We're just messing around. Okay, I'm on. Um. Oh, you know what? You cannot make it all the way there. It's not gonna be fast enough. All right, game. All right. I see you. I see you. Oh, shoot. Can I not get this chest? I can get this chest. Hang on. Stay. Please stay. Yes, let's go. I'm a god. 
God gamer status. <laughs> what do we get? Probably another useless bow. No, all right, I'll take a large zoonite. That's nice. Large zoonite are helpful. Well, I was gonna question how I was able to get back up there, but now, now I see how. The best part is you don't even have to take the ladder. So you can just up warp straight up. AKA another useless item. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely one of the ones I abused. Okay, so I think we can just get the fans over there. These are just dropping skateboards. Which, you know what? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's get the skateboard. Bring it up, bring it up. Nice. Go. Then we just rotate you and we're off. Albeit a little slowly, but we are off. This is going to probably weigh it down too, which is a little concerning. No, actually that works perfect. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull up. Close enough. Alrighty, now we add some wind power on the back end. And this is gonna work just magnificently. I really wish we had more than a single fan, but this should be enough. Oh right, this is definitely enough because we have infinite power inside of shrines. I forgot about that. Forgot about that. I can just ride this this way, right? This'll work, right? Yep, yeah, this'll work. Amazing. Let's go! Flying machines! It is pretty OP though that you can just fly around shrines infinitely. I do love that fact. The physics system, it just, I don't know man, it really interacts very, very well with everything. Like when I tilt left, look, it just instantly curves. It's great. Here we go. What is this, shrine number 49? Sorry, I mean 39 or 40. It's one of the two. It is a month after my birthday and the expensive gift, depending on what it is, I could use with my friends. That's true, you could use it with your friends. Shrine 81 was a blessing from Raru. Nice, bro, nice. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a tough decision, bro. That's up to you. It's like, the, the going out with your friends could be a lot of fun, but that could be just a one-time thing, whereas the expensive gift, if you could use it with your friends, could be something you use multiple times over. But I don't know. But uh, if anyone's gonna make that decision, it's gonna have to be you. Oh, there's one of these in here. You know what? Let's, uh, let's see what items it has and just get a boatload of them. Let's go. I'm gonna build some gunpla. What in the world are you building, Ruby? You wanna send me the schematic so I don't have to build stuff myself in this game? Oh, let's go, we got skateboards from this one and fans. And what else did we get? The cart, all right, so I've never held the cart before. We've got the cart now. And we got a beam emitter. Oh, I've never seen the beam emitters yet in this game. I've seen clips of them from other people's gameplay. That's cool. What, pro? have you never gotten this many things from a gotcha machine before? You should have to put in five of the large Zonai charges and you get so many. It's so much fun. I put in like five sets of five charges in at once and it just never stops spilling items. It's great. It's so great. Can you up warp into this? Wait, is there stuff down there? This looks like you can up warp. Oh, that's why it's non-stop rotating. Can I get down here? No. There we go, I stopped it. Good God. I didn't realize that's why it was rotating all the time. So I can manually rotate this how I need. I don't know how to get into the bottom portion though. It definitely looks like there's something in the bottom portion of this. I'm gonna keep rotating until that is where I want it. 
Actually, if I place it halfway between this, it look like it's gonna get much lower. Can I get in the lower portion from this? Did I just outsmart it? Oh, let's go. Let's go, baby. It was just a single chest, but worth it. Sage's will. The remnants of a former sage's resolve. If you gather four of them and offer them to a goddess statue, you can deepen your connection with the sages. That is dope. Alrighty. Didn't know I was encountering that, but I will take it. Sweet. Oh, a Gundam. Gundam. That's what you meant to say. Yes, please make a giant Gundam. You're going to need a lot of battery power, though, Ruby Rudy. Like, I, I wish someone would mod it. Or they just released a version where you could play, you could you could mess around on the map with infinite battery power. I think that would be so cool. Okay, um, there's nothing else we need to do in the sky right now. What we need to do is what's our next shrine? Do I did I have a shrine here? No, there's just one I saw there. Okay, I do have a shrine over here though. Yes, I have two of the sages' will. That is correct, pro. The first one I must have gotten from like the wind temple or something. But I just picked up another one from one of these orbs. It was on the bottom of the orb. You just had to mess around a little bit to get the, the chest that was hidden down there, that's all. All right, we got another shrine here. Let's do it, let's do it. I feel like I'm speed running all the shrines. It's definitely not what I'm doing, but it feels like it is. This is wind power. Alrighty, more wind power. More practice with wind. Oh, I see. There's fans. So it's gonna be like, how do I, uh, how do I use this wind power you speak of? This is how. So if I just do this, will this work the way it expects it to? I'm gonna put one on both ends, preferably facing the same way. Try it out. That seems like it's working properly. Yeah, that worked. Was that it? Bro, that was it. Wait, what? That was so easy. Um, How can I get up to this chest, though? There, there, there's a chest that I have not used yet. Can I... Will this work? It's gonna blow me backwards, isn't it? Oh wait. All right, of course. Of course. Just seen that coming. Try again. If I do this, <laughs> why do you fall? No, dude, that sucks. It doesn't let me. Doesn't let me stand on the fan. Okay, so this this does not work. This does not work to get me up there. How do I get up there? Actually, if I just leave it on the ground. I know the Sage's will is just, it's just I didn't know if you were doing more than you said you did off stream. No, 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 I, I haven't encountered any more of the Sage stuff off stream. The only stuff I tried to do was like, Inconsequential side quests, and um, this will work. There we go. And collecting the shrines. That's it. That's all I did. A mighty construct bow. Definitely want one of those. Let's get rid of one of our strong construct bows. Cool. All right. There we go. Nice quick shrine. It was actually like ridiculously easy that one. Does this bring us up to 16 orbs now? I think we can go pray to the goddess. Yeah, we can go pray to the goddess four times now. I don't think I collected enough shrines to get another four of those. We'll see. If we can get up to 20, that'd be perfect, because then I can get three stamina wheels and two hearts, which is kind of what I need. Let's see, how many do I have left? I have one, two, oh yeah. Five more shrines. Let's go. I think that's all of them. Yeah. All right. We got five more shrines to complete. Let's do them. We're going to start from back here. 
Perfect, dude. This is gonna be perfect. Pro, so you've done a bunch of the game already, so I'm assuming you've made it to Goron City. Do you know if there's a prayer statue in Goron City? That's nice. There's a giant skull on the map right where we are. Kamatuki Shrine. We've gotten lucky. None of the shrines we've played today have been constructs. Because those, those are very difficult challenges. I think there's a prayer statue in every village city. Okay. Alright, I'll have to look for one in Goron. This is a precise strike. Well, this is gonna activate and deactivate something. Um, that just launches it up. What happens if I do this? I don't even understand what that thing's doing. It's just like despawning the ball. Apparently I can move this. Oh, oh, um, okay. So maybe this is just a reset button? Maybe that's what that was. Not enough force. Actually, that was kind of close. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that's not gonna work. So yeah, that is, that is a reset button. That's all that is. This. Reset. There we go. But perhaps I need to do something over here first. I might get the expensive gift because I told my friends I might be celebrating my birthday late and they probably forgot by now. Well, I don't know if they necessarily forgot, but I, I wouldn't use them forgetting as your only excuse to not hang out with them. Pro. Like, listen, if you want the expensive gift, that's fine. It's your choice. But I'm just saying, you know, d don't don't base it on just the thought of them forgetting, because I'm sure your friends would want to hang out with you. All right, let's see if we can get it. Boop. That's not getting enough uh, force. Not so sure why. Is it just I need to direct it back and forth? Is that all? No, that's definitely not fast enough. I don't know, I just feel like that, that's not giving it enough of a swing. I can tell you something about the compendium. Uh, what about it? I know you should be able to purchase items for it again. Maybe higher? I can't, I couldn't get it any higher, so that's why I'm attaching this other block. Revered's back with some ice cream. What you got? What's your fancy ice cream today, Revered? Uh, that's not quite how I wanted it. Can we get... There we go. That is. It just broke my contraption. Okay. Try this again. Actually. Hang on. God dang it. Here we go. Um, it's a little angled. Let's try that again. Bruh, what is this? On. Good. Okay, now, you go up. There we go. That did not work. <laughs> Um, come on, go up, go up, please work, please work, here we go, bruh, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> hang on, 
we can do this. That's not centered and a little high. No, stop centering it. There we go. Maybe that'll work? I don't even know. Place your guesses. You can buy the pictures. Yes, I did know you can buy the pictures. That was in the last game, Pro. I'm probably gonna end up doing that. I did start to fill out some of the compendium, but I'll definitely end up buying everything at the end. Thank God, I'm bad at photography. You don't have to be terribly good at photography to fill out the compendium. All right, we're gonna hold this here. Leave it there. So we can bring you back. And then hopefully this works. Dude, I don't know what to do. I'm not hitting it with enough force. So, so, so what, what do you want me to do in this instance? What do you want me to do, game? Your pendulums don't give me any more force. You didn't see what to place your guess on? I was assuming it was for your ice cream, but I don't know what ice cream you have, so I'm not guessing this time. I guessed every time. No one else in chat guesses. Dude, it's so close. It's so close. Trying to cheese this real quick, don't worry. We got chocolate moose tracks ice cream with fudge and whole Reese's cups. Nice. Nice. Enjoy, my guy. I had some more cookies last night. We finished cooking the batch of dough I made. There we go. Alright. What are the odds I make this? I think I can cheese this. The other one I'm not so strong about. That'll work. Just gotta get close enough to grab this. No way. No way, bro. No! <laughs> this is painful. Oh, it actually put me up here. That's nice. That's nice, however. Hang on. Leave that there. There we go. Alright. Shit. Alright, I didn't even need to get on the fence. Here we go. I did not see your message about hammer recommendations. Hang on. We're cheesing this right now. Bingo! Cheesed! Ha <laughs> ha! So what was your hammer recommendation? Maybe the hammer has to be in the middle instead of one block or the other? I mean, I thought I had it in the middle. I, dude, I got no clue. It worked the way I did it, so who cares? Perfect. Give me that chest. This wasn't even the end goal of this area. A mighty Zoanite longsword. Yes, please. Yes, please. 15 base power. What can we get rid of? Get rid of one of the rock things. Oops. There we go. Sweet. Yeah, I, I don't know what that game is either, Revered. What is Croak? 
Never heard of that one. I see. Is that a ladder? Oh, there is a way for me to get back up from over there. Well, I have an idea. Oh, I have a wonderful idea. Just wait till you see this. This is going to be great. I have a devilishly wonder wonderful idea. <laughs> Running Man has a wonderful idea. Yeah, it's about to get it's about to get wild up in here. Just wait, just wait. I don't think y'all are ready for this. All right, that should be good. You go like this, and like this, this, put you back where you were, and I go like this, oh god, please make it, no, Link, oh shoot, right, I gotta do the setup again, I gotta, I gotta do the setup again, hang on, wait, it made it over there, what, I did it, I don't even know how, but I did it, Oh shit, it's gonna roll back this way. Oh no, oh no, stop. I could I could stop it. I don't think I need to yet, but I need to I need to get some height. Wait, can I just get hit over there? Okay, hang on. <laughs> nope. <laughs> that is a no. That is not how you're supposed to do it. I need to eat something. I'm gonna die. Well at least the ball oh, wait, the ball made it back in! What kind of physics is that? I don't know how it rolled back that back that way, but okay. I did it. Guys, I don't know how this shrine worked at all. I learned nothing from this experience. I learned zero from this shrine. Good God. So the game we were talking about, it's pronounced Croquet. Oh, never seen it, seen it spelled like that though. It's similar to golf. Oh, oh, you mean the actual game of Croquet. I thought you meant there, it was a video game. I've never seen it spelled like that. I don't think I've seen it spelled to begin with, but I do know what croquet is. Yeah, okay, so same with pro. I've seen that before, just never knew the name. Yep, that's it. Ah, yes, that looks more correct. The way Karate Mom spelled it, croquet. That I would have recognized. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I, I think you just had it misspelled that first time they were revered. That's all. Yeah, it's, it's with a Q-U, not a K. And there's a T on the end. It's confusing, right? What more do we have? We've got four more shrines. What the hell did my phone autocorrect to? I don't know, what did your phone autocorrect to? Define croak. The word you spelled is a hoarse, harsh cry or sound. Oh, like, like a, I don't know why it's spelled. Maybe it's the past tense then? Because croak, croak is C-R-O-A-K, is what they're referring to, but I spelled it the same way you did. Why did it give the definition for a different word? I didn't even spell it that way, that's so weird. I'm confused now, hang on. Well, Urban Dictionary says the word you spelled is the opposite of clutch. Never heard of that before. Yeah, Revered, whatever you spelled, I don't think it's a real word. I think it's, I think it's slang, because I only see it in the Urban Dictionary. I guess maybe there's some website saying that it's a different form of the word croak, C-R-O-A-K, like the sound a, a frog makes, but I've never seen it spelled the way you spelled it. That's weird. You're, yeah, I don't know why your phone would autocorrect that. that. That is a very weird autocorrect. Your phone's doing some strange shit, man. Oh no, this is a construct shrine, no! <laughs> I thought we were avoiding these. Dang it. Proving grounds. That's what I mean. It's a proving ground shrine. All right, let's see what we got. We got, how many arrows? I got 10 arrows. All right, that's not terrible. Wish me luck. This is gonna be awful. I don't know how I dodged that. All right, got one. Give me your stick. Who's next? For a second, I thought these walls were rotating. Okay, so I can make some ice arrows. I see, I see what they're trying to tell us what to do. Um, oh, I can break 
How do I break that? Well, first off, let's do this. There, everything's got some extra attack power now, and they're nice and icy. Anyone see me? Yeah, they see me. Oh, I didn't realize the ice is a one-time thing. Okay, that kind of sucks. Get frozen, bitch! Alright, the one-time freeze is actually still pretty useful. Got him! Almost. Now I got him. Much oh eight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's drop that and attach it. There we go. Alright, we got a powerful weapon now. We got we got a better a little bit of a better weapon. How am I getting up in the center though? I see how it wants me to get up there. I don't know how though. I don't know what can and can't destroy these things. Oh, I don't have a shield. What? I thought I picked up a shield. I don't have a shield? I totally thought I had a shield. Well, now I'm about to have a shield. Thank you. I'm also just, I'm picking up all the arrows they throw at me. This is great. So can I destroy this? No, I don't know how these things get destroyed. They're, obviously they can. Um. Oh, I can just do this. Wait, I can't, it won't let me grab it. I can just do this. I'm be I always forget about my up warp ability, dude. I'm so dumb. Oops. I don't have any bombs, bro. I don't have any bombs. Shockingly, you can't get the Link's Awakening set in Tears of the Kingdom without an amiibo. That sucks. Yeah, I, I don't have bombs. I don't know uh, what my phone is on right now, but I won't have to deal with ridiculous autocorrect for too much longer. I was told earlier this week that my family's getting new phones. What are you? What phone do you currently have, and what phone are you trying to get, Revered? All right, I got a Zone 8 Longsword. That didn't reach. Um, what are these things in front of me? Just a barrel. Ow! All right, the barrel I can use to destroy them. There we go. So I should be able to do this. Fuck. I gotta do it again. Barrel sledge, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, I did not expect that to happen, but that was perfect. I thought it was just gonna give me a place where I could up warp. That works so well. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Do -do -do -do. Are there still uh, stuff to collect? No, I think they got rid of all the stuff that was in the water. All right, let's get out. That wasn't too bad. Luckily, that one only took me one attempt. Actually, do I still have? Ooh, yes! We're gonna fuse this. We're gonna fuse this with this giant sphere up here. That'll be sure to do some damage, right? Oh God, don't follow me. <laughs> that was close. Plus 24, good God. I guess we're putting it on the magic staff too. Yeah, this doesn't really do anything for the magic on the magic staff, but that's fine. So you currently have Samsung Galaxy S10e. It lasted for several years and it's time to finally get something new. As for what my new phone will be, I'm heavily torn between another Samsung Galaxy or a Google Pixel. That has been my struggle for years. I've wanted a Google Pixel for a long time and I've always been persuaded out of it. And now I'm finally ready to upgrade my phone as well, but I don't want the current line of Google Pixel because I've been told it's shit compared to, you know, what previous models of the Pixel have been. Um, but your mom and sister plan on getting Pixels, you have yet to decide. I really want a Pixel as well, but I want to wait for the next Pixel to come out. Because there's just, there's too many bad reviews about the current Pixel. Um, but if you notice on my phone, you can even see it on stream. Oh, if I don't drop it. <laughs> Probably not going to be able to see. But 
in the bottom corner there. Uh, where? That corner? That corner. It's all broken. Nice and chipped. It's really not going to come across well, but yeah, I need a new phone. It's cracked. I don't know what I got from this chest. What was that? Was that a Reaper 2? Yo, that's a strong weapon. Of course we want that. We're going to drop. Sort. Wait, not by type. Sort by... Is this only sorting by type? I thought it would sort by power. Technically, magic staff is my lowest. Let's get rid of the rock hammer. Cool. Poor little guy. Yeah, my phone, my phone likes to break a lot. It's okay. It's lasted a while. I think I've had this... I think I've had this phone since senior year of college, maybe? Magic staff? What about the magic staff? Have you not seen any magic staffs in your playthrough, Revered? Is that what you need to make the Wizrobe Wands? The magic staff is the Wizrobe Wands. You just have to attach it to something else. So, like, I have a magic staff. Where is it? There you go, I have a ruby staff, because I connected... It's a magic staff that I put a ruby on the end of it, but, but since there's a ruby, it's fire-powered. The magic staffs aren't inherently powered with any... Um... Any element. You have to give it the element. Now let's use this for now. Uh, next shrine. Yeah, we're actually, we're not even going to get to start the Elden region. We're, we're not going to get to the Fire Temple this time. I totally thought we were, but I did too much exploration off stream. All right, what is this one? The Link's Awakening set, you- Oh, you can get it without an amiibo. I thought you said you couldn't. I thought you said you couldn't, pro. Your phone- Pro, your phone is cracked, and, you know, a little bit of the screen got cracked from an angle where you can see the white light of the phone. I hate that. I hate that. I can't see the white light of my phone, but I can see some of the internals. It's quite annoying. I misread his message. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. My bad. Well, this is interesting. Um, oh, I see that's not aligned. Uh, but I do not have the ability to align this? What? Can I stop any of it? It's just gonna rewind the whole thing. Oh, it's not gonna rewind the whole thing. Oh, God. Um, wait, stop, stop, stop. No, 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 that's not... That's not the one I need to rewind. I need to rewind this one. There we go. All right, I understand now. We're good. I mean, I guess I could have done this in portions, but it's fine. This works. This is weird. I think the goal of this is you were supposed to line all three of them up and then just go upward once. I'm doing it multiple times, but it works. I did want to see what was here though. Um, There is a chest here. Yeah, it worked. It worked. I almost knocked myself off, but I realized soon enough. I'm getting some stronger weapons now. This is great. I'm starting to find some nice ones. Oh, shit, but I can't get up from here. What was the point of this? I guess I could hop back down again. That was weird. All right. Weird camera angle. This is gonna be quick. Go, go, go. I made it. I wonder if you could fuse weapons with your of your own with Zoanite to make those? Oh, I don't know. Uh I don't think so. I think you would have still have to get the base weapon. Oh, that was easy enough. Whoops. What do we have? One or two more? We're getting close. We've almost completed all the shrines I had set out for today. Two more. Yeah, I gotta start fusing some more high-powered stuff, especially now that I'm getting some better Zoanite swords. Like, let's see, what do I have right now? 
What do I have unfused? I think I only have the one unfused. This level 10 strong zoanite longsword. So let's see what can we can we mash with that. We can you know what? Let's mash a diamond with it. Why not? Why not? There we go. 35 powered longsword. Oh, that's great. That's great. Okay, two more. We got one up on the volcano and one that is right in Goron City, which is perfect. That's where I want to head next. I want to buy some armor. Hopefully there's heat resistant armor in Goron City, as well as we need to pray. We need to find a statue and pray. I also haven't seen the top of the volcano. We can, we can check the volcano while we're here. I guess it's technically a mountain. It's Death Mountain, not a volcano. What was this shrine? Controlling device. Oh, we get to control them. Nice, nice. Let's go. Drive across the lava. Wait, I love this. Being able to control the wheels, that's so helpful. I feel like some people would joke about the weapon power and Reference the really annoying mobile game ads where they have millions of power, where they have millions of power and it basically controls their lives. What? What are you talking about? Can I just run over this dude? Boop. Uh, yes I can. I didn't fully do damage to him, but I did run over him. You're gonna miss. You're gonna miss. Suck it. Take my diamond sword. Wow. Two strikes. That's great. That's great. A strong construct bow. Do I have anything worse than that? Nope. It's like we're heading this way next. I see the end of the shrine over there. But there was something with an orb over here. Oh, oh, I see where the orb is. I see where it is. We gotta turn this puppy around. Let's go. I didn't realize there was another column of lava to follow here. You know, another path. Can I drive these backwards? I sure hope I can. That is yes. All right, cool. You got dinner? What'd you get, pro? What'd you get for dinner? I'm struggling here. You know what? It worked. I don't know how, but it worked. Barbecue chicken potatoes and broccoli. Nice. Nice, dude. Only this could just drop right in. There we go. Give me that bonus chest. I had chicken and broccoli with potatoes last. Actually, I don't think they were potatoes, but I had that last night. A mighty construct bow. Don't mind if I do. I gotta start using these better bows. All right, now let's get back where we were. The previous long message is a rough quote of the ads. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was not understanding what was going on there. You're confusing me. You was confusing me, that's all. Um, oh wait. Don't go anywhere. Why in the world would I fly on one of those and not take a steering stick with me? Hello? There we go. Read the quoted one. You put. They, I don't see any message with quotes on it, revered. If you type something in chat that had quotation marks, I don't see it. There we go. I see the message that starts with "I feel like." And then they all go something like this. There was nothing else with quotes. So if you, if you did put something with quotes, retype it, because I, I, I didn't see it. Now I see your message, okay. You said, I have 50 million power in Rise of Kingdoms. I used promo code EATASS and got 700 free draws and got several legendary champions for free. And in no time at all, yeah, that sounds like an ad. That sounds like an ad. This is so much fun just flying around. The fact that you have infinite power in the shrines, you can just go wherever you want. This is OP. This is so OP. 
I think this bird might despawn at some point though, so can't truly fly forever now, can I? This is so cool though. This is so cool. Yeah, when you put that message in chat before, I definitely did not see it on my end, Revered. Sorry about that. But not my fault. That's either Streamlabs or Twitch's fault. Kamikaze! Yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah, I was very confused by your first message about some weapon power. Yeah, I'm not sure why Twitch does that either. It's weird. It, it's not the first time it's happened where you've put a message and I just straight up haven't seen it on my end. The promo code was, yeah, the promo code was very funny. All right, let's, let's go up to the top of the volcano and see if we can find something in there. I feel like with ha everything that's been going on underneath the world, I feel like this volcano, since it's not spewing lava anymore, would just be a large entrance to the depths, no? Wouldn't it be? Because I, I feel like that's what it would be. Can you, hello, can you climb? Bro, what are you doing? That was stupid. Maybe, maybe not, let's see, let's see. Cause I am here, this should be the peak, right? Oh, oh, there's a lot of gloom here. It is not an entrance to the depths though. Which I'm kind of shocked about. There's a lot more gloom than I expected. When I was typing that message, I was thinking of what I should make the promo code. Cause a lot of the codes in the actual had ads have like 2023 or 23 or something for the year. And some other word that makes sense with the game. Yeah, I getcha, I getcha. I don't know, I thought your promo code was funny. There's nothing, there's nothing here. I definitely thought there would be something here. I guess we can just warp down to the next shrine. That's uh, down in Goron City. This is the last shrine that I found prior to today's stream. Oh, I, I saw a video from here. Oh, well, I already warped out, but what did you see revered? Pro, don't do that. No, I don't, 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 don't spoil it like that. Don't say maybe, maybe not every time. Oh, I see a Korok. No way I hit it from here, right? No, no shot. All right, we'll go back for that. I do see a Korok though. We're gonna go get that after the shrine. The Wield Wonders. Somebody recorded their first reaction to the game and went there. They were faced with the most horrifying encounter. Okay. I think I know what encounter you're talking about, and I may or may not have come across them once off stream, but I didn't really get the horrifying part of the encounter that you're talking about. One of my friends told me about it. I have not seen it, but I've been told about how horrifying it is. Yes, yeah, it was the hands. It was the hands. But I know there's like even more terrifying stuff that I have not yet seen with the hands, so don't you worry, there's gonna be more. What even is this bridge? Wait, wait, my friend did the shrine and he did something fucking crazy. I have to show you guys something. So obviously the goal for this is they want you to combine the bridges so you can walk across it, but just, just watch, please just watch. Sure, we'll do something like that and then you recall it. And then hopefully this will just like launch me. Maybe? That didn't quite work out how I wanted it to. It was definitely supposed to launch like that. Let's try again. Come on, launch me! Not quite, but it got the job done. Wasn't exactly how it was supposed to work. When I watched that clip, even I was terrified. It's not often nowadays that Zelda makes a genuinely scary or creepy enemy, but they definitely went back to the roots for that guy. Yeah, so it is a very, very scary enemy encounter. But beyond that, there's like a legit jump scare that happens. And I have not yet seen the jump scare. This is, this is not gonna work out. It's gonna tilt me straight into the lava. Yeah, all right, that uh, wasn't gonna work. I know how I can make this work. Uh, maybe not, I need that to come back. 
Okay, I got it. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Pro, there's no way you've played 80 hours into this game and have not encountered the enemy that we're talking about. There's no way. You had to have seen it. There's literally zero way you didn't encounter it. They're everywhere on the map, Pro. They're not just at the volcano. They're gloom monsters though, so, you know. Wow, one shot with that bow, that was awesome. Just gonna steal this real quick. And this. Actually, I probably could have just rode that up, but whatever. This'll work. In my chest. That was perfect. I almost didn't get up there. <laughs> God dang it, I don't need another one of these. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay, so I, I did see my friend do this shrine, and I know what needs to be done. There is a... Um... Pressure plate over here, there's a scale, and you need enough balls to weigh this down. That's literally all it is. Yeah, the hands with the eyes. Yes, Pro. Have you defeated them at all? Have you killed any of them? Or have they just despawned while you were trying to battle them? So if you have killed them, then you've seen the jump scare we're talking about. Oh yeah, they're definitely annoying. I encountered one once and it just like despawned, but they're annoying. They're definitely annoying. We. Well, that made the shrine easy. I'm pretty sure we're done. We just have to wait for them to settle. Yep, we're done. <laughs> That's it. That's all you had to do. Just a little bit of cleaning up. Sweet. All right, that is every shrine that I had marked off from before stream to now. And we should be able to pray five times. I single-handedly put all the balls on the pressure plate. Dude, that's so slow. That's so slow. You got to use your machines to your advantage. That was way too easy to do with that car there. Alrighty, so now we should be able to, like, actually explore Goron. And I do want to go get that, uh, Korok Seed. I didn't see the machine thing, I wasn't paying attention. A likely story. This is a very awkwardly placed Korok, but we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Actually, I could just go, like, bullet time super close to it. This is gonna have Topaz in it, guaranteed. No, it didn't. I thought it had a little bit of a yellow, uh, yellow texture to it, but there was no, uh, there was no topaz. Those hands. Oh, what jump scare? Pro, I think it's if you defeat them, something else pops up. I'm, I don't know. I haven't defeated them myself, so I don't know. Talking about the screech thing they do? I'm not sure. Like I said, I have not actually fully encountered them myself. Oh, shit. Why? Link, why? I defeated them and I know what pops up. Yeah, so don't don't say it, because I don't know what pops up. I will learn in due time, once I'm like, actually strong enough to battle them. I thought I'd be able to stand on this. I guess that is still pretty slanted. Pretty surprising, though. I mean, Revered even said that he was terrified and he wasn't even the one playing when he saw it. Can you just, can you stand, please? There we go. Perfect. I don't know why he's not moving at all, but we'll take it. We'll take it. There we go. I literally only wanted to get up here so I could do this. There we go. That was easy. All right, now, let's actually explore the Goron City. 
see what we got here. I believe this is the entrance. Yeah, this is the entrance. Here we are. Why does this guy have like glowing white eyes? Those are pinkish purple. Wonder if the guys are doing a good job ripping off travelers. Oh my God, don't rip us off. It looks like they're eating gloom infested rock. That's not good. Taste of the diamonds. Bro, I am not purchasing your diamonds. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'll admit, I'm kind of a scaredy cat, but even the most, even then most Zelda games don't scare me like that. I'm surprised you're into FNAF as much as you are. I mean, I, I'm a bit of a scaredy cat as well. I don't play that many horror games. FNAF is probably the furthest I'll go. They're high from the rock? I don't think they're high. I think they're sick. Mm. Crane, not you too. And after all the warnings about the marbled rock roast. Aww. So everyone's acting funny because because of the marbled rock roast that President Yonobo is mining? Hey. What are you mumbling about over there? Is that pres the president? Did we find Yonobo? FNAF is fine. I don't know, dude. Some of the stuff in FNAF can be a little scary. Damn, look at this dude, he's all decked out. All talking about marble rock oh, we got a legit cutscene. Huh. What is he, a luchador? It is Yonobo, let's go. <laughs> I like Yonobo's theme. There's nothing to worry about in my opinion. Now stop flapping your rock chompers and get over here, Goro! <sighs> <laughs> They're so scared. Huh? Link? Is that you? What could you want? Uh oh. There's some animosity here. I don't like this. Oh. Well, if it ain't Link, you're so tiny I barely even noticed ya. <laughs> you know, Bo, what's the big idea? Talking like that to our esteemed guest. Huh. Bluto, or should I say boss? You really don't know your place, do you? Hmm. Slurgo, tell me, who runs Goron City these days? Oh. You know, Boko. Hey. What, he's got his own company? And who's in charge of you know, Boko? You know, oh. Bo. Huh. You hear that, Bluto? You're not needed around here anymore. Hmm. You think I'm just gonna sit here and... No. <laughs> he cuts him off. So, Link, what's your business in Goron City, huh? huh? Princess Zelda? And you're wondering about any strange goings on? Princess Zelda? I heard she'd gone missing, but you're telling me she's still missing? I mean, it's hard to miss those lovely blonde locks of hers, after all. Locks? Does that mean hair? The lady with hair like that? She's the same one President Yonobo talks to about marbled rock roast. Okay, so we saw already in one of the memories that there was a fake Zelda going around, kind of, it was like possessed by Ganondorf or whatever. So I think the Zelda that everyone's seeing disappear into a ball of light and then float away, I think that's the bad Zelda. I think that's Ganondorf, and I think she's causing all the bad stuff that's going around. So, like, they're, they're saying here that Princess Zelda is working with Yonobo to get people to eat the marbled rock. The marbled rock roast. And the marbled rock roast is what's making them sick with gloom, so there's obviously a connection there. Huh. Pipe down, you two. You'll keep your trap shut if you know what's good for you. <sighs> As you can see, Goron City is the picture of peace, and we can't help with Princess Zelda, so you'd better shove off. I've gotta go get more marbled rock roast. Can't afford to keep her waiting. So who's her if not Zelda, you big dummy? Oh, his back. Oh, God. He's up at Yonobo HQ, and they're off. Cool. Stuff like Outlast will make me actually curl up into a ball, and if I watch for too long, I'll actually throw up with Outlast. I don't think I've ever seen Outlast. What is Outlast? I've heard of it, but... Yeah, that looks like it'd be a scary game. Outlast looks like it'd be very, very scary. This is where the stream ends. Uh, not just yet. I did want to look around the city a little bit. What are you, you're selling Sapphire? I don't want to buy any of your stuff. I do want to break this, though. Do none of these pots have anything in them? Bruh, what is this? Okay, so most of these shops I usually just buy everything because I'll need the ingredients for some side quest or for some baking challenge. And um, I have enough rupees, so it doesn't bother me to just buy everything. Yeah, I have the money, so why not? Why not? They just released a new one? What, what just released a new one? 
And arrows, yes. Please give me all the arrows you have. Oh, they just d did a new Outlast. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so you're not going to be streaming that game anytime soon, will you, Revered? What is this? This is... A restaurant? No, this is the inn. <laughs> Fuck no, we will not be playing Outlast. Over here is armor. Yes, this is what I wanted. Flame guard. That is perfect. Selling it dirt cheap for 1,200 rupees. Fuck off. I ain't dirt cheap. All right, well now I don't have to worry about ever getting burned, which is really nice. And we have another set of armor that we can upgrade. Speaking of which, we still can't upgrade anything because we haven't even unlocked the fairy fountains. Ain't that great. All right, there, I got... Wait, it's not even saying I have major fire resistance on this. It just says flame guard. Oh, it's not heat resistance. Flame guard is different. All right, well, I still was going to get the armor regardless. We've gone around the bottom section. I did have the idea to make a challenge stream where I run through the FNAF games and people vote for whether or not I do certain parts of the games. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. That would be interesting. Be interesting. I know there's a lot of stuff, especially in like FNAF 3 that you can do or not do. You know, there's multiple endings. I don't feel like reading someone's diary right now. What, are they playing tic-tac-toe here? What the heck? Flame guard makes you not burn in hot areas. Okay, but it didn't lower on my temperature gauge the, the heat resistance thing, so it seems like I could still get burned somewhere. We got a side quest. Let's just talk to him. Simmerstone Springs? I think I have. I've definitely been to those springs in Breath of the Wild. All right, side quest achieved. Is there anything else to do in the city right now? I guess we should just go talk at the, uh, what, Yonobo HQ thing? Also, what's this? Is this an armory? Or a weaponry? Can I take your giant sword? The Boulder Breaker! Nice. What's funny is I've never actually finished any of the games. I cheesed FNAF 1 and 2 due, an, due to an exploit where you can skip nights. Didn't know that was a thing. You want to restart and do it legitimately? The only one I've done legit is Security Breach and I own Help Wanted. Yeah, he's not going to let me take that. Kind of figured that was going to happen. Do have anything else I can take? Damn, this dude really doesn't have anything else I can take. They all have the same tic-tac-toe board in their house. Nice. Yeah, I was really hoping he would give me that weapon, but I guess not. Are you, uh, you chilling in the hot springs here? He said that he'd make minecart land. Django is a liar. What is minecart land? I don't know you. Django, Django told me I shouldn't talk to people I don't know. Who's Django? I don't really know you. Django eats marbled rock roast all the time and won't make minecart land. That's why I talk to a stranger. Well, I can't make minecart land for you either. Oh, these are healing springs. Nice. <coughs> Tick-tock rock. Oh my god, it's a tic-tac-toe. I love it. Oh, and here's the statue. I was just about to look for this. This is perfect. So now we can get the stamina vessels we need. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to have two stamina wheels and I don't know how many hearts. Uh, ten hearts? We're going to have ten hearts. Yeah, the hot springs healed me. The hot springs worked well. Another stamina vessel. Yeah, two more stamina vessels, two more hearts. I find it funny that you wanted more health, but now you're prioritizing stamina. I'm getting a little bit better with it, and I already, I have enough here that I know I'm going to get two more hearts out of it. I just, I wanted enough for a second stamina wheel, that's all. Revered max hearts is 40, that's so many hearts. So many hearts. Now that I have two stamina wheels, the next couple things will probably just be devoted to hearts. Sweet. Sweet! Let's go. One 
more. And we're down to one light orb. I'm gonna have to find more shrines for next stream. You have 19 hearts and you had three extra. So one heart was on one row and the other two were on the second row. Huh? Yeah, a lot of hearts, dude. Yeah, a lot of hearts. All right, that's all I can do there for right now. I think we had to, oh, we are not talking in here. Where do you, where do you say he went that I had to talk to him? He went up this way. All right, we gotta go, we gotta go that way. Essentially, he said there's 20 hearts per row for two rows. Yeah, that's what I figured. Excuse me a little bit with the message. You're just eating away. I love how they don't realize they're eating the thing that's poisoning them. Ain't that great. Oh, also, I haven't shown you guys any of the flying machines I made. Because I didn't really have an excuse to use them this stream since we've been just warping from place to place. But I've been using this build a lot recently. Check this out. Straight up in the air. And then I can pilot. It's so useful. So useful. Yeah, rockets to launch it up, fans to blow it forward. Works perfectly. And it's bringing me directly where I wanted to go. Actually, is... oh, we're going in the... In the cave. Kamikaze! <laughs> he got stuck! Actually, I don't think it's stuck. I think I'm just frozen because they're talking to me. This is hilarious. This is this is another moments before disaster kind of screenshot. <laughs> Wait, I think I have another one of these. Um, I didn't get to show you guys because this happened when I was playing with my friends. Yeah, here we go. So, um, my friends and I were playing Mario Kart and we paused because uh, someone had to check their phone or whatever it was, change settings. We had to pause right at the start. So, here you go. Pictures taken moments before disaster. Do you guys do you guys notice any disaster happening on the screen here? Because I do. I find it very funny. Everyone on the on the top left, bottom left, and bottom right had perfect starts with the speed boost. But then in the top right, uh, they they did not get the speed boost start. No, they did not get the speed boost. They they explode. You can even see it. You can even see it in the the bottom right from Luigi's point of view. There, you can see the cart exploding in front of them. <laughs> Yeah, so that's another moments before disaster. It's like a, it's a perfect photo, but this one, this one works well as, this one works pretty well too. Edited explosion. <laughs> hey, it's you again, the one who knows President Yonobo. Uh. He's talking about marbled rock roast with the blonde lady right now. No one's allowed to come in. Uh, that's concerning. We should probably get in there and find the blonde lady. I don't really like that lady, but it's definitely the marbled rock roast's fault that everyone's been acting funny. Aww. Yeah, President Yunobo said he got that weird mask he's wearing from the lady too. Well, of course that's why he's putting up with her and not looking into the rocks, because he's got a cool mask. He was always so nice, but as soon as he started wearing it, he got real mean. All right, we gotta demask this dude. Aww. Hey, you're friends with President Yonobo, aren't you? You know how he created Yonobo Co. for mining? It was supposed to be helpful for people who needed ore and stuff, but now it's just making things weird around here. If we let you pass, will you convince President Yonobo to make Yonobo Co. stop mining marbled rock roasts? Let's see what I can do. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. It did kind of get stuck here. They're also running away because they don't want to get kamikaze -ed. There, they, they, he got kamikaze <laughs> It's, it's sitting on top of him. I'll take it. I will take it. Now, whatever's going on in there is definitely going to be heavily story-based. And we are a little over time, so I did want to just see really quick if there was anything worthwhile around here. And then we're going to save an end stream. Heading to a cave near Lake Darmon, a dry lava lake to the northeast will root out all monsters in and around cave. This is a warning to all, beware the lizard-shaped lake. Wait, I've seen the lizard-shaped lake. Why should I be aware of it? The lizard-shaped lake is right over here. I don't know why that's a thing that we should be aware of, but we'll explore that next time. <laughs> Freeze frame moments before disaster. Thank you, Revered. That's great. Karate man in a plane. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. <laughs> oh wait, there's more armor here. Is this different armor? Flame breaker, is that what I'm wearing? No, I am wearing the Flame Breaker armor. That's not new. Oh man. Not buying the same armor twice. 
No point in that. You got anything? I believe we've met. I'm a new worker here, sure. Oh, I can sell to him? Okay, that's not what I want. Okay, he's got nothing worthwhile here. So, next stream, we'll have to enter this cave right here and figure out what the heck's going on with the fake Zelda and her gold locks and uh, why she's infecting all of Goron City. I do not know why she's infecting everything. Oh, 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 one rock on the top. Could it be a Korok? Could it be a Korok? Dang it! I always think there's gonna be a Korok. Whenever there's one stray rock, I always think it's a Korok. <laughs> Our Goro Yonobo needs help. He does need help, but unfortunately, he is not going to get that help today because we are past end time on the stream. I gotta look for someone to raid right now, so bear with me while we find someone. I don't know who we feel like raiding. Do we want to stay in the uh, Legend of Zelda category or do we want to raid someone who is just in my list? I mean, we could do both. We could raid Fur. Fur is playing Legend of Zelda. He is caught over 100 hours into it, so it's probably going to be a lot of spoilery stuff. Zelda category? All right, we'll go Zelda category. Let me look. Let me look through my list of who I'm following to see who's playing it first. We want to do anyone there. I'm just going to go into the Zelda category. Let's do that. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I know it won't be spoilers for me because I've already beaten the game. Well, I don't know, bro. Oh, wow. It's like featuring fur when you search for Breath of the Wild. That's cool. Oh, no. They're just they completely updated the Twitch UI. What the heck? The Twitch UI is very different now when you're searching games. I like it though. Really, really cool upgrade they made. Yeah, hopefully nothing's a spoiler for you, Pro, since you've already technically beaten the game. Who do we want to raid? Yeah, all right, we can send a raid over to Fur. Why not? Why not? We'll raid Fur. Oh God, whatever he's fighting, he's got a giant eyeball. Now, if it's Koroks and the streamer is helping. Oh, yeah, true. If, they, if they're spoiling Korok seeds for you. I don't think you're going to find many of those. I don't know exactly what Fur is doing, but he is 100 hours into his blind playthrough. He's on day six and he has a countdown timer on stream. I don't know what the countdown timer is for because there's nothing in his title that says he's doing a subathon, but there's 49 hours counting down on his timer. So no clue what that's for. But if you guys want to stick around for more Legend of Zelda, feel free to join us for the raid and copy and paste the Dojo Squad raid message. Either the first if you're a follower or the second message if you're a subscriber, because we got those nice subscriber emotes in there. I'll be back on Friday. We got one more stream this week, and that is Fall Guys. Um, I, I'm going to be here this week. Right. All right. So there's no, no changes to the rest of this week. Next week, the end of the week is going to be a little different because I'm going to have to stream on the go. Uh, but the rest of this week should be fine. So I will see you guys on Friday for Fall Guys. But until then, have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday night and say hi to Fur for me. Peace out, everyone.